G'day everybody, and welcome back for some more Minecraft that will hopefully be multiplayer with Black Shadow soon, assuming she can get her Minecraft install working. But I went live early because, uh, we started getting attacked by a whole bunch of skeletons, including this giant one. Um, <laughs> that appears stuck in the water? Nope, it's back out. Oh. oh, you're finding one of those funky things. Yeah, have fun with that. Yeah, um, it seems to not want to die. And I don't have anything ranged. I don't have no potato gun like you. <laughs> I mean, I'd loan it to you, but my game is broken. Oh no. Uh, hmm. Well, follow me across Capax Bridge. How much health does this thing have? A lot. Apparently. Oh. It's not giant, he's just big boned, yes. <laughs> also, thank you so much, Krizil, for 30 months. <laughs> wow. And <laughs> thank you, Shadow, for 13 months? You're welcome. <laughs> I don't understand this issue. So, it says I don't have Minecraft installed, and right now I am looking at the Minecraft launcher able to launch vanilla. So I'm guessing uh, my installation is, folder is messed up. Yeah, I was about to say, is the installation folder for CurseForge directing to the wrong spot? Probably, so let me quickly check that. Uh, open file location. Not sure why that would have changed, but... You know, I did some Microsoft updates, so I think it's safe to blame Microsoft. I mean, that's usually a fairly safe thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Now the question is, where is Minecraft saving it? Uh, to... so oh, that's... There was something brought up in the comments on one of the previous VODs, and I kind of I kind of feel like they, they were right on point, which is if you ever if you ever feel like you are unhappy with having to teach me how to work these mods, just remember you're not having to teach Kabak, space engineers. It's a good thing you specified. Well, teaching him this was even harder. So he felt so overwhelmed by everything. But that was kind of how he felt, how he always was at the beginning of Space Engineers too. Why, 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 why is there a chicken and a sheep up here? Also, where are our villagers gone? Did they just get killed by the skellies? Oh, no. I think they might have lost some. I hope not. So no. I can't see them anywhere. Uh, Shadow will be streaming once she's actually able to play the game. Oh no, who's here? Uh, there's someone in this boat. I can't see their name tag. <laughs> so at least one of them's alive. That looks like Sol. It does look like Sol. Tell me, where are you saving yourself, Minecraft? Where are you? Percent app data percent dot Minecraft. Isn't that where they where it yeah. wants it directed? I think this is the right location, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> yeah, the shader pack that Shadow picked is uh it's a good one. It keeps it feeling very vanilla, but sort of like vanilla plus. Which I like. I don't like the ones that change everything too much. Okay. So, while waiting for Shadow to get in, we make sure that the hammer is in the correct position, and it is. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> and... You monster. <laughs> you monster. <laughs> and... I mean, dirty now, are we? Then... Let's see how it is. 
Uh, I ask, what do I need? To, what do we need to be able to make trains? Uh, a bunch of stuff we don't have right now. And you said trains? Why? Why are you so cruel? What? The day I cannot log in because my Minecraft is broken. You mention all the fun things. Well, you you were meant to be logging in so you could teach me. I know. I'm trying. Train casing, train track, train station. You know I break stuff. Train signal. This should be no on. surprise. Train track. What do I need? Uh, step one, deploy iron nugget. Step two, deploy iron nugget. Step three, process in press. So if I just shove a couple of iron nuggets. Oh, iron, iron and zinc. And then put them in a press. I can get train track. Uh, yeah, basically the easiest way to do this is with a conveyor belt. Think of a factory line with a bunch of uh, worker robots that do the things. Right. Minecraft is already running. What do you mean? Conveyor. <laughs> nope. Belt. Mechanical belt. Is that what it is? Yes. The one Dried that's made kelp. with six. Right. Kelp. Yeah, that's the one. I should probably go so collect some kelp then. I should probably sleep. Do, 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 do. So, for your for your install, have you been able to direct it to the correct place now, at least? I mean, it's already at the correct place. That's a problem. Oh. Unable to start the Minecraft runtime environment. Sounds like there's something wrong with your CurseForge install. Yeah, and that's what I'm dreading. Would it not keep backups of your like previous stuff you've done if you just reinstalled the thing? Uh, it probably would, and if stuff does get lost, I can just reinstall it. I found a possible fix. Yeah, I wasn't meaning to start my stream before Shadow was ready to go, but uh, when I started getting attacked by the giant skeleton, I was like, oh, I should probably show this. <laughs> Especially if this goes catastrophically wrong. And I did tell you to go live as well, so... You did. But that was only after I was screaming at being attacked by a skeleton. Oh. Forgot about my air. It's just enjoying the underwater. So it's telling me to remove a file I don't have. Well, that. Oh, wait, no, I'm just blind. Never mind. I was about to say, like, that might be the issue. And Mr. Reston, I did not update the pack yet. That's something I'll try to do this week. Well, next week. <laughs> Yarden's asking, has there been a week so far when Shadow hasn't broken something? Uh. No comment? <laughs> I see. But, uh, no, there hasn't been. Kelp, float to the top. Oh. Did I break something the first week? Uh, no, the first week seemed to just work. Yeah. We didn't even break the server the first week. Oh, and that's, that's why we were so surprised game, then. the second week that the server broke. Because we were like, we explored all the time and everything was fine. Hey, Matcha. Thank you for 40 months. Wow. Oh, what? Yeah, we are at... F you guys are at 40. You... It's crazy. Uh, life is doing good. 
It's about to get crazy while I work. Is the dolphin playing with my kelp? <laughs> it is playing with my kelp. Cheeky dolphin. How much kelp do I need? How many conveyor belts are we going to need? I'll just grab a bit more. This year's going to be four years. Yeah, it will be. It's crazy. Considering I kind of started doing the Twitch thing just as a... I was mainly doing it because I was making the ACS mod and I was like, well, I may as well stream this. Then it slowly evolved. Hey. Dolphin jumped. Oh yeah, that's right. If you die in water, the dolphins play with all the equipment and move it around so you lose all your fancy stuff and it gets spread to the ends of the earth. Huh? Uh, so I have good news that might be bad news, but, um, yeah. so apparently there was a button in CurseForge that's literally called Repair Installation. Uh-huh. That would have been good to know beforehand. So I pressed it, I tried to launch Minecraft, and now it's not starting up Minecraft, but it's also not giving me the error, so... Hmm. Progress? I'm getting further? Maybe? <laughs> You're either progressing closer to things working or closer to things being so broken that they never will work again. <laughs> <laughs> Drawing the kelp's just shoving it in a furnace, right? Yeah. Oh, that hammer hurts. I, I see that hammer. You monster! Hammer's delightful, I don't know what you're talking about. Why do I keep getting gantry shafts when I open up these things? I don't know. I blame... you. That's... I've just magically gotten 36 ga... What? Are you cheating? No? Oh, my curse of binding mm -hmm. pants came off. I so you're getting gantry shafts and you lost your pants. <laughs> Apparently. I don't know what's going on. Apparently you can break stuff as well. Hmm. Apparently so. Oh, it is starting. Oh, well, I mean, it's trying to start, but it is trying so hard. It's maxing out my CPU. That's how hard it's trying right now. Ooh. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Yep. I was in creative I'm... at the start of one of the streams. That was because I thought I needed to be in creative to help Black Shadow be unbroken, and I forgot to change it back. <laughs> Updating Minecraft launcher. Hooray! Uh, I'm scared. Maybe? I am very scared. This is the thing that broke it last time, so... <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh no. Well, time to log in again, I suppose. These little animations they have for the create stuff are actually really quite helpful. Yeah. Read. Okay, well, it's recognized my Microsoft account, so that's good. We're getting there.
I think I am starting up the game. Do I make golden sheets from golden ingots oh, or no. golden nuggets? Uh, ingots. <laughs> uh, you could say that, Zero Nut. Yay! And if there's ever a bit of that sound coming through, be sure to let me know because I can do some stuff to change it. Maybe. Oh, we some wood. Well, time to download 500 megabytes of data, I guess. Because apparently that's what Minecraft has decided to do. Like I'm glad it. it's trying to fix itself, but hmm. it's making me very worried. But I should be able to go live shortly. Hooray! Maybe. Yeah, Laws, I can look stuff up myself, but I prefer to just ask Black Shadow, because it's... I don't know, I, like... Why not? <laughs> I feel like... I feel like if I've got someone with me who knows the thing much better than I do, it sort of makes some sense to ask them. Because I get more I context that I am your Wikipedia page. Yeah, but you give me more context than just looking at a picture. Like, you can be like, why are you making that? No, that's not the right... <laughs> no, that's not the right thing for what you're wanting to do. Uh, it's kind of like the number of times, say, I'll be playing with Kabak or TFE and they'll ask me a question about Space Engine and I'm like, why do you want to know that? I find out the why they want to know and then, re then clue them in on what they should be doing instead. Because <laughs> what they're trying to do is just odd okay so my launcher has either crashed or is starting up now i'm so not sure so many buttons it's revenge Well, my laptop's lagging a bunch, so I'm guessing it's starting up. Possibly? Well, this is off to a very interesting start, isn't it? Uh, seem to have used up all of the lava bucket before, so... Let's go get some coal. And yes, agreed, Krizil. There is the other thing of, if you're playing with someone, rather than sitting there staring at a bunch of text on screen, you could just ask them. And talk about the thing. Just give me an opportunity to yell at you, so I approve exactly. this message. <laughs> exactly. Hey, you're not supposed to agree to that. Hang on, now it's not fun anymore. It's almost like I had a plan around it. You can't let me have my face, can you? First removing my hammer. Oh, well, removing my hammer. Turning my hammer the wrong way and now enjoying being yelled at. What is that left for me to do? <laughs> I'm sure you'll find something. Me? I'll probably break something else. Yeah. Wheat dough, okay. Sky is the limit. Okay, that works. Wait, is that what gives me bread? Oh, it is. Oh, heaps more bread. You have to cook the bread. 
I'll waste a heap doing that. Eh, whatever. It's just coal. Um, Yarden just said, so I just tried to run Minecraft with the pack and it crashed for me too after updating the launcher. Yarden uh -oh. What have you done? <laughs> I'm breaking it all! Ah! Also, I think I'm able to go live now, so... Hooray! I'll do as such. I am live! Thank you! Well... So let's get your chat up and running, get the game started, and log in! Okay. Now we can do a prediction. Who's gonna die first? <laughs> Who's going to crash first? <laughs> Crashing counts as dying, right? Depends on how you crash. Do you crash violently into the ground? Then yes, it's a death. Do you drown when you try to load in? Technically a death, I suppose. There we go. Oh, I did forget to do one thing. Uh, what? Your skin appears different. Yeah, um, I forgot to change that back. <laughs> <laughs> why Why have you got a diseased skin? Uh, it's related to something I've been doing um, okay. with a friend of mine. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Mm, okay. For those who know, um, yeah, it, get excited. Because Blightfall has been updated. Do we get a Black Shadows computer catches fire option? Um, if Black Shadows computer catches fire, that counts as a Black Shadow death. Well, um... <laughs> sure. Alright, so I've made myself a wrench. I did that. I tried. I had no ammo. Rude. Uh, <laughs> I've made myself some belts. So I need to make myself a new power source, so then we can try and stamp out some bits of rail, and then we're probably going to need some other bits for the train. But I'll start with the rail first. Power source. Windmill? Yeah. How much auto wool do we have? 14. I completely forgot what I was doing last time. Uh, you were making a giant farm over there. And watching... Was that all I was doing? Well, you made a river, you made a bridge. Or yeah. a creek. And a bridge. It'd be a river in Australia, but it'd be a creek in most other places. I think you were trying to separate out the crops into separate plots, but then got bored of it at some point. Because mm. the onion and tomatoes are together. I think it was more like vanilla crops and then modded crops that I was trying to do. Ah. Uh. Oh, sweet berries. Eh. <laughs> and yeah, you were just... Gen generally trolling me, apparently, as well. Yeah. Yeah, the spud gun. Yes, the spud gun. Do you remember the spud gun? That lives on Drury Lane. Hey! Don't you do that. I saw you do that on your stream on delay. <laughs> Do you have my stream open? That's good to know. Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, right. So for windmill, I need blades, which were... Oh. That doesn't work. Windmill bearing, and then I need... That's a sapling. Saplings are edible, right? Really? So hang on. Their one, they've got like... 
the sails have worked better if I made them a different shape. I don't know. Uh, it shouldn't matter. Okay, so sail was andesite, sticks, and wool. Actually, use that one. Uh, did you upgrade the fridge last time? Yeah, we got a fridge. Did you upgrade it? No. Okay, then I am going to make a preservation chamber so the last item in the fridge won't be used up. Sounds good. So does that, does that just stop us from crafting the last one so that our recipes stay, or does it magically give us extra things at the end? Uh, the recipe stays. Okay, cool. So it won't use up the last item. Alright, Antisite Ally. So you forgot to do something uh, two weeks ago, didn't you? Did I? Upload a fault. Huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I called it the missing link when I uh, eventually uh, transferred it from Twitch. I, I'm not sure whether I forgot it or whether I did it and it was busted and forgot to do it again. Because I've had a few of them when I've uploaded them to YouTube that the that YouTube just hasn't liked them. Hmm. Yeah. Or the upload's broken for some other reason and I've had to do it again. Okay, bearing. There we go. Preservation chamber has been crafted. Slab, granite and shaft. All right. I've heard of using a carrot and stick as incentives to learning, but using a carrot and spud gun is new. Hmm. Very effective. Is it though? Well, you tell me. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm learning despite that, not because of that. Sure, that's what I would say as well. Oh. Smooth doesn't work. It was. I like it. Andesite worked. It's beautiful watching the sundown. The sunset, I mean. Yeah, it is. Shall I build a windmill for making this stuff? Maybe behind the blacksmith. Ow! Yeah, I wonder what happened. <laughs> That's revenge for moving that hammer. Right, I don't need you to sleep. Wow. Rude. Don't you dare. Oh. Ow! <laughs> I'm bleeding! <laughs> How dare you! How very dare you! You're making me have to eat all my barbecue on a stick. Uh, could you share a barbecue, by the way? I might die because of bleeding. There you go. Oh, wait. Never mind. Thank you. Why does your backpack have cogwheels moving on it? Why does your snot have that? Mine doesn't have that. It's just a backpack. Uh, it's a copper back tank that I'm currently showing. It's for the pressurized air that I use for my spot gun. Oh, right. 
So it's part of the way that you pick on me. I get it. Thanks. Actually, should I start making a... No, I should learn how to do this thing down on the ground first. Rather than oh, trying to build it up in the tree. Trees. What are you trying to build? Building a big windmill. Regretting my life decisions because I didn't bring my uh, my booties. <laughs> Sorry, you what now? I didn't bring my bouncy booties. Oh. Right. Yep. Makes sense. Makes sense. I don't have much of my armor right now. Yeah, I think we both had a lot of our armor break. No, oh, mine are fine. Ink, please. Oh, you know what? I I think I know what kind of armor we can uh, get right now. That's actually pretty good. Since we have access to the smell tree, we should be able to smell up a bunch of brass for us. Okay. So I'll get started on that. And yes, I know, I know, I'm late. with my stream I had issues so many issues I broke it all again well that should not be a surprise well that's not right uh... oh. that's the way I wanted it Oh, I can't place it out that far. That's annoying. Oop. Uh... To climb higher. One, oh. two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll go for six. With these windmills, do you reckon it makes a difference what the arrangement of the sails is? Or do you reckon I can just kind of plop a whole bod bunch of them around and basically make a circle that ends up being super efficient. I don't want to answer that question now. I'm not gonna... I don't want you to make a circle. I could make a circle. I'm just wondering whether I can Why do some things... Why did you suggest things... it? I'm just wondering whether I can do some things like adding some little bits of flair to it that are... that might actually, you know, up its efficiency. Like adding little bits on the trailing edge. Yeah, you can. It's basically the total mass of a windmill, so theoretically you could have just a single blade. Just to hope that ends up being the trailing edge. You can turn it around as well, if it doesn't go the right way. Ah, cool. Also, what armor pieces are you missing right now? Or would you like uh, to upgrade? I am not missing any, but I'm currently using a leather cap with fire protection one, a copper chest plate, cursed leggings of binding, and copper boots. So pretty much any of them Everything. will be an upgrade. Okay. My uh, brass almost had this coming right up. Cool. Uh, uh, what? Uh. What? If you could come down here for a moment when you have time, that would be uh, splendid. Shortly. See him. I'm about. I'm about to head down. I just need to uh, do the last blade. Which will end up with me falling. Yes, I'm happy with this shader pack. Uh, 
the easiest way to find your way around what mods you want is to find a friend who can do it for you. Uh, <laughs> would you deny this, Shadow? No comments. Two, three, four. Oh no. Up a sail short. Just one fell onto the ground. I didn't think I had exactly the right number for what I was doing, but now that I real now that I counted out, I did. Anyway, I'm down here now. Dental genius. There you go. Brass helmet. Brass boots. Brass chest plate. Yeah. No room for all of it. Let's get rid of the stick. Yep, indeed. War of the Hammer. That is something that will be happening throughout the stream. No. Yep. At least until one of us completely forgets about it. I'm never going to forget about that hammer. Don't you dare! <laughs> I needed to s use a screw on it, like use the glue on this to get the blades to actually work. Uh, no. Yeah. For what you're doing right now, you don't need to use the glue. You only need it if you use other bits as connecting pieces along the blade, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it sticks to the first block that's directly attached to the windmill, and from there you can use cells everywhere. But if you plan on using wool and stuff, you do need to connect it using glue. Uh, how do you make it turn the other way? Uh, you need to use a wrench and go all the way up top. Yep, how do I use... if I... Well, I right clicked so with the wrench the... and it just stopped it. At the top of the block there should be a little menu that you can scroll to change when you hold the wrench. Oh, to the top of the block. Ah! Hooray! Thank you. There you go. Need more blades so I can have more trailing edge thickness, I think. Are you saying your windmill needs to be thicker? Bigger! Always bigger. Bigger, faster. Faster, better. More faster, more better. Yee. Yeah. And yes, Incognito, it was um, very tempting. What was tempting? What were you going to do to me? Mining your tower you were standing on. Oh, altar mining it, yeah. Rude. Rude. I didn't do it. You should be proud of me. I mean, sure. We can go with that if you want. Right. Uh, the thing I wanted to do, uh, do today is set up a quarry so we can get some resources. Yeah, that'd be nice. And I'll show you how I will make one. Once I figure it out how I want to make one. <laughs> is that it's always a problem as well. Although maybe I should make a workshop first. Oh dear. So I think this is why we never end up with any, uh, with that, that's next step actually getting done. Excuse <laughs> apparently me. there are a lot of steps before it. Well, usually a create workshop is something you can set up relatively quickly, and it will greatly help you increase the speed at which you do other things. Hmm? What happened to those pants? <laughs> now you're losing your pants again, Splitzy. Apparently I'm losing my you pants and my mind, which, you know, kind of makes sense given that we keep getting concussions from our fate. Okay, it went into the chest and then Black Shadow instantly sorted it. That's where they went. <laughs> uh, blaming me now, how? Okay, now my cursed leggings are actually staying on, so I'm leaving them on. Alright. Uh, Make more sail. 
I made pants for you. You did, but I can't wear them. Rude. It's not rude. It's just impossible. I see how it is. Possible to wear the things I make for you. I'll keep that in mind for next time. Hey, you agreed to me wearing the, um, the cursed pants. You agreed to let me make you armor. Yeah. I forgot to remind you about my cursed pants. These sheep are naked. Oh. Not at all. There we go. Um, by chance, do we have enough room for a workshop in a treehouse? Uh, what does the workshop look like and what does it require? Um, that is very hard to explain. So it does need a large open space, so I can add some conveyor belts, because we do need a lot of those deployers, similar to the recipe you saw for the train tracks. Right now the treehouse does not have that much space. Okay. Uh, the treehouse I think is probably going to be more decorative than functional. Okay, good to know. Ah, uh, just... yeah. Like, does it need more space than the smithy? Uh, preferably, yeah. Well then, yeah, it's not going to fit in the tray. <laughs> I think the treehouse may, may well end up being just where we have our beds. <laughs> Everything else will be elsewhere. Unfortunately. Sounds reasonable. Oh yeah, the windmill's turning heaps faster than the other one. Okay. So, next thing is gearbox in, shaft down to the ground, it appears my windmill shaft is getting the blue dot disease slowly. It's a blessing, not a disease. Looks like a disease. <laughs> I suppose that's one way of putting it, Siliada. Are those endless buttons a replacement for not being able to actually corrupt everything with Farmcraft? That would not Mayhaps. surprise me. Mayhaps. Thanks, Gomez. Thank you for a year of Prime. I mean, that would make my uh, skin make sense. <laughs> I, I just trolled myself with a button. I stepped into the elevator and pressed the button, trying to go down. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it can be functional. You absolute! What? Why did you turn the flower? <laughs> Thinking I wouldn't notice, hmm? I'll agree. The flower actually doesn't look better that way. Eva does the hammer! The hammer totally does! No! Yeah! Wait, did I actually manage to sleep then? <laughs> no, you did not. No, you did not. There we go. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, something windmill? Shaft thingy.
Oh, I love the way the windmill works with the shaders. Oh, because <laughs> of the shadow coming through the trees. Or the clouds? Tree. Tree? Mountain. Mountain. Yes, Blitzy, that is a mountain. Good job. Would you like a star? You know the answer's yes. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. I'll slowly start remembering what the recipes are for these things. Crafting bench for this next bit. Wait, no, hold. What do you wait knowing? It's fine. She's getting a gearbox. Hey. What? What's wrong with a gearbox? Nothing. <sighs> Why do I have a door? That is a very good question. There you go, you have a star now. Wait, did you stick a starfish on my head or something? No. I don't think there are any starfish. <laughs> the only star I know of is another star. Where's my, where's my star? Look in your backpack. <laughs> okay. Sure. I'll pay that. Seems reasonable. Uh... Eh, I can go there. So can that. That. I don't know. All right, so I now need to make a belt that's going to be long enough for a uh, few stamping thingies on it. Oh, you know what we can do? We oh, can no. use this windmill to make a workshop here. Like, there should be enough room for a workshop. Then you wouldn't have to move the windmill. Okay. Yo! Ah! Oh, getting on my nerves. <laughs> I'm watching you. Not closely enough. <laughs> Gotta keep my spot gun loaded. There we go. Hooray! We have a belt. Uh... So with the nope, so with the train oh, track, right. it says you've got to do an iron nugget and a zinc nugget. Iron or zinc. Can iron or so no, it's not iron and. So you just need two of the dropper things and then one press. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, we are running Minecraft version one dot eighteen dot two, so we do have scaffolding. Oh no! Torch on the track. All right. So, dropper thing. What did you use to make the dropper thing? Splitsy has a belt, but has lost his pants. This is... No, no, my pants are stuck on. Maybe my belt is too effective. Hmm. Interesting problem to have. Deployer. Going to lie. I almost pressed that button again to go down the elevator. You really got a... 
<laughs> go fix that. Uh, oh. oh, that's why we need the polished rose quartz for the deployer thing. The I see. Uh, Ray speed on the hammer. Ray speed. Were we smelting iron somewhere? Uh, I don't think so, but we can smelt some up in the smeltery. Sure. Because uh, we need some. I'll throw some in. Oh, I should have done the uh, box of iron. No! Ow! I heard that. <laughs> so, are you trying to make a block of iron out of this? So instead of putting in uh, nine pieces of raw iron, I'm putting in a block of raw iron. Uh, you don't have to do that. You do if the thing below it's full. Oh yeah. No, it's not. What do you mean? Ow! I Look! You broke a torch as well, you monster! Oh, I didn't break a torch, I placed a torch. Well, there was no torch there. You're still, you monster! <laughs> Although that does look nice with the torches. Looks right with the hammer this way as well. It's balanced. No, no. <laughs> I love that. I love that you have to press it like seven times to fix the one time that I hit it. Oh, you poisoned me! That's what you get! Poisonous ammo! I have upgraded! Also, would you like some cookies? Yeah! There you go. I wanted cookies so much on the weekend, I made cookies. Well, I made... Yeah, I saw. Made snickerdoodles, because I had the ingredients for them. I was like, yes, I'm going to make those. That's right. Metal sheets. Iron sheets. That's what I need to make. So mechanical drills is something I need to prepare later. Um, regarding the building for the workshop, do we want to build around the workshop or do we want to build a building and then build inside of the workshop? I think we should design the workshop space first. As in the try and lay out a bit of what we need and then design a building that goes around it. Right, let me actually get the cobblestone then. Easiest to replace. I know scaffolding exists. I was using scaffolding before when I was over there, but I don't have my scaffolding on me, so I was using the dirt. <laughs> it's just, I had the dirt, so I used the dirt. I'm well aware that the uh, scaffolding exists. Yeah, and the slime boots just get bouncy and annoying, so I don't like them. Also, I appear to have lost mine somewhere. I don't know where. Um, what was I doing? I want the pink quartz. None of it's here. Saw the rose quartz in the smeltery? The rose quartz is a material you have to make. No, boots are not in backpack. I think I put them in my backpack at some point. Yeah, I I will with the button. I will make the button functional. That is my solution to fix that problem that I've created. I mean, that uh, inspiration that I've given myself. All right, what did I do to make the quartz last time? I I um. Wait, do we even? I took the. Nether quartz and sanded it? Uh, you can look it up at J.I. Oh, in J.I. Polished rosed quartz. Take rosed quartz, put it on the deployer, and then it comes out. Oh, with sandpaper. Um, yep, you can also do it by hand. Do we have any of it left? I don't think so. I don't have any in my inventory, I don't think oh. so. Where did we find that? 
find the row squats or yeah that's the thing you make no no where did we find the cluster of the the rose quartz oh you can that's make it as make. well from nether quartz okay didn't realize you'd made it i thought you'd found it oh if only it was that easy and cheap yeah, something redstone. I mean, the nether quartz is a painful <laughs> bit, but the redstone's easy. Red redstone is quite rare nowadays. Or oh, at least for the amount you need it. I still have the sandpaper. I have a trading contract in my inventory. Why do I have a trading contract? I don't know. You're being weird. I do have a skeleton. Losing your me. binding pants and suddenly getting a bunch of gantries and now also getting a trading contract? I Are don't... you dealing with the mafia? I mean, if I was, I'm not doing a very good job of it. It would seem so. Um, About the structure, what kind of structure do we want it to be? Utilitarian. Also, aren't we building the, the actual. Like, the functional parts first, then building the building? Yeah, but I do want to know what type of building we're gonna make so I can lay it out, like, either around it or to the back of it, or however. You do you. <laughs> Uh-oh. You haven't stopped me from building the, the treehouse, I'm not gonna stop you from building your dreams here. Oh yeah. Freedom, baby! Chaos. Yes. Yes! Ideas. Also, this doesn't help because I was actually out of ideas myself. <laughs> um, I was thinking like a warehouse in a sort of um, sort of old school look, but maybe you could manage to put some glass in there and give it some like high windows, but not ones at ground height or something like that. I don't know. Or it could look like a a mill. As in, like, a wheat grain mill. Where did the sandpaper go? Oh, there it is. Um, the grain mill might already become a thing at the farm, because that's actually kind of logical. So, a warehouse might work. And then we can also double its function as storage, like, underneath. I broke the sandpaper. Oh, monster. I don't need to make sandpaper. Do I need to make any more sandpaper? I can leave that till later. Diamond grit <laughs> sandpaper. Paper. If you want to know how to make sandpaper, grit. just look at the name. Yeah, oddly enough, it's, it's only giving me the thing for the diamond one. Oh no, because it's two words. For... That's. Oh, the inconsistency. <laughs> Oh, that's just... That's not okay. It makes sense from a programmer's point of view. And that's Why? the best part of it. How does, how does having one as sand paper and one as sand paper work from a programmer's point of view? So you have two words either way. You have diamond sandpaper and then you have sand paper. <laughs> yes, we are. Paper around here. No, but we do yes. have a bunch of sugar cane somewhere. Do have oh, we do have paper. Yeah, I thought I'd made oh, paper. Oh, then I stand corrected. Uh, that is an idea, Loris. That is an idea. Although I don't know what kind of value it would read. Thank you, Mavalite. <laughs> Thank you for tier two for 19 months. Thank you very, very much. Hope you've been enjoying the um, Valheim as I see you've been on there a fair bit. Are you stalking people? No, I just pay attention. Ah. I figured one of the two people in the Zebra Monkeys needs to. 
right. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Capek you said that. He won't pay attention to you saying it. True. <laughs> it will make me feel good. What, being ignored by Capac will make you feel good? Uh, sure. <laughs> you weren't sure where to go with that, were you? All right. No, it wasn't. So let's put those with those. We're going to need a couple of them. Just make two for now. Uh, deployer. Next, I need an andesite casing and a brass hand. Oh man. Need They're very brass. handy. Uh oh. I'm Dead Weight just made me stand up and. Oh, this is going to be an old man moment. I'm rather sore <laughs> from my. Uh, from running on the weekend. Oh well. Everything is aching. I'm not, not hearing the groans. I'm, I'm trying to yet. resist. I'm trying to suppress Do it. <laughs> give in. Give in. You know you want to. <laughs> there we go. Village noise achieved. Oh. 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 Yeah, it's been a very, very long time since I've run 10 kilometers. And I am feeling it. Feeling it badly. Ooh. Much stretch oh, required. Play Minecraft in slow mode. Uh, what was I coming in here for? I'm trying to make axe. brass. Have we got brass? We have plenty of brass, actually. Is it in the, the ingots chest? chest? I almost got you. I almost got you. <laughs> uh, right. Probably a bit of space. Now I need three yeah, brass yeah. plates. Oh, I probably shouldn't make all of this into brass plates. That would be bad. There's three I need, isn't it? No, four. Doobie doo. Yep. I did the Sun Run, which is a fun run in Sydney that it's actually a really beautiful bit uh, like part of the world to run through. Oh, Andy, could you do a did thing? It on the weekend. Oh, I need to have Ooh. I need to have your stream open on my second PC so I can sneak in and just. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I've, I've been trying to uh, maintain some semblance of fitness to have some chance of vaguely keeping up, so I'm not full on old man dad. Uh, need more casings. I mean, you are going to be the cool, famous dad, so already have that going for you. Maybe it'll probably be something totally different that's cool by the time that he's old enough, though. Dad used to ride a motorcycle. My dad saved lives. Well, I used to ride a motorbike, but then I kept crashing them. Yeah, that's so not a good idea. So I stopped. <laughs> oh, I need to make another hand. And thanks, Andy. Doing. What are you doing? I don't... I don't... No. I've kind of... I was getting into a rhythm of things, then I kind of lost my rhythm. Funny how that works. Uh, I stopped riding so that I stopped crashing. 
Oh, there's a new beehive here. <gasps> beehive! I completely forgot about the beehive I was building. Yeah, why? Oh. Why did you stop building the beehive into an actual beehive? Because I am a goldfish. Uh huh. I forget things. I see. I did not mean to stop. It unfortunately just happened. I guess that's something I can continue with once I've built the quarry. Okay, I now have and two deployers. Next step for the train is a press. Will the press process on the end, like partway along a conveyor belt, or am I going to need to have the press be able to do stuff and process it for a while before it ejects onto a different conveyor belt? Um, you can have a singular conveyor belt for that entire line. They're smart enough to stop the item from going further. Okay. And they still need to perform an operation. Cool, cool, cool. Mechanical press, and a side casing and shaft. B really does sound like a lightsaber battle. Oh, that's actually a good point, Mike. Um, so, a little bit of context. So, train doors, when a train is moving, do actually close when the train moves. And they open again when the train stops. So they might work on the elevator as well. Oh. Oh. Cool. It's not something I've tried myself, so... Not entirely certain it will work. Hang on. We move on Hang conveyor on. belts. Yeah. So we can make travelators. Why would we do that when we have trains? Uh, to move you through the station if we make a station that's too big? I like this idea. <laughs> uh, also, I feel like I should reverse the gearing on this. It feels weird to finish at the windmill. Uh, I would also recommend speeding it up a little. You might be able to reverse the direction then as well. Alright, I'll I'll just get a working thing and then I'll optimize. I think. I think it's the smart way to go. A little bit of a warning, this might get a little bit loud. Uh what? Why? Why loud? Did it get loud or did it not get loud? Okay. No. Uh, when you paint my next to someone, it might get loud, so... Figured I might give a warning since you were nearby. Uh-huh. Uh... Is there any way to rotate this with the wrench? Did oh. Work. Oh. Oh, that... Yep. So, when they point, they will perform an action. When they're uh -huh. a fist, they will attack. They will attack. Oh, so we can use this to yep. punch things. You can also give him swords and uh, tell him to attack. Yeah. I wonder if we can give him spud guns. Create a cannon wall. Oh, yes. Huh. How did I... rotate this before that one's pointing out this one isn't try smacking the top aha 
Thank you. So Shadow, what's my best way of giving resources to these fingers? Um, for mass production, having shoots on top of them. Having a or shoot. funnels in a conveyor belt next to them. Um, also, a quick tip if you want me to give you one. Mm -hmm. You can put them next to each other and have them power each other as well. Like, as you can see, they have an input and an output. Oh yeah, I could, I could spin them the other way and have them... I was I was kind of deliberately putting them apart for aesthetics. That's but fair. At least the rotating them does make a lot of sense. So then I can just put shafts between. Uh, I never crashed into a tree with my motorbike, but I did hit... The The last crash I had was fortunately not one that injured me, but was uh, kind of scary because it was at fairly high speed and it was into another car. Ooh. Did you not get injured? Uh, I was wearing a lot of gear and ah. I got lucky. It was at about 70k's an hour. Ooh. Yeah. And then, you know, years of working in the hospital and seeing injuries of uh, people on motorbikes was enough to make me go, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get back on. I'm done. That's it for me. Uh... All right, I need to make yeah, a bunch that's of tears. true. It is definitely something we can do as well. Have a few of the machines be toggleable, so we can only have a few active at a time. So when we don't need a certain part of machinery, we can just turn it off. That sounds like a thing that is doable, but also like a thing that I will find hard. To think through until I've actually got all the machines out, at least. It shouldn't be too difficult. It says you. Yeah. You do say that. Hey, thanks, Canada. Thank you for eight months. Okay, so we start with our large cog wheels. Oh, Laws, I love how you think saying stuff like that is a, is an explanation. <laughs> there. And was that Did that work on the previous one? I can't remember. Okay. How many times do you think I should oh, gear it? Maybe. Yeah. That is something that's very difficult for me to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Ah, there we go. Empty hands. 
How many times do you think I should gear this up? As in speed it up? Um, Two, I mean, three. in terms of a workshop? I think the speed you have for that right now is good. Okay. We don't need it to be too fast. That's how fast the conveyor belt's going to move. At that speed. Yeah, that seems fast enough. Um, so, now I need to add in a gearbox. Which means I might just make a little crafting bench over here so I can make things while I'm here. That's like a plan. Oh, we're getting internal walls, are we? Kind of. Just keep in mind, cobblestone is for laying stuff out. Sure. Uh, hmm. Gearboxes do a pass-through, don't they? Back here, crankshaft. Something called something mechanism. This your mechanism. That's the one. So repeat sequence five times. And we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. That. Uh, not cycler laws, motorbike. <laughs> That's what I used to ride. Aha! Um, going 70 on a cycle, that's very impressive. <laughs> oh, poop. The oh, gearbox poop? switched around my order of things. <laughs> Easy fix. Uh oh, what have I done? What have you done? I don't know. Seems to be working okay. Yeah, there we go. So now I just need to drop stuff onto the deployers. I kind of like that they're out of sequence now. Okay. I mean, that's usually not something I hear people say. You can use the wrench to remove create items. Oh. I'm, st I'm still learning the, the wrench. I'll get there. Uh, so. You said use a... What did you say to use to put stuff into these? Uh, either a chute or a funnel. It depends. Do you want to do it from top or from the side? Um, I think, like, if we're walking around and this is the floor height, what do you think is going to work better for us to add resources into? Uh, I personally am a fan of the chutes. Uh-huh. But with a funnel, we can just add a conveyor belt that goes uh, to the side of it. Like, uh, from the back here. Because this is going to be the outer wall where I have the wood laid out. Yeah. That's why I was thinking, like, do is there enough room for us to put stuff in there, or should I just make a chute onto the top? Uh, should be enough room. And this thing is going to be quite high. At least I'll try to be um, efficient with it. Uh, is there something I could do that would be a temporary solution? Like, so if I have a chute on it, and then I add a chest, like, how do we get the... How did you do that over here? Just trying to remember. You had it so that we could just dump stuff in chests over here and it'd work. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That is something we can do. Chest and then an but... andesite funnel. 
If you want it to be temporary, you can also right-click it into the inserter. Um, but that only holds like a little bit, doesn't it? 64. Okay. It's a bit... Basically a whole stack. Yeah. I'll go with a funnel to start off with, with the plan to go to a shoot later. Sounds good. What's the difference between an andesite and a brass funnel? Uh, brass funnel is smart, but it costs a bit more, and andesite funnel is um, a bit more simple. Okay. Uh, brass funnel also allows you to do 64 items at a time, whereas the andesite funnel only allows one, I think? Sure. It's either 1 or 16. I keep forgetting. I think it was 16. Yeah, it, it was 16. Oh. I need to make one. And then I just put two chests next to this, right? Uh, not quite. No? No, it does not transfer between. Isn't that what we've got going on on the other one? Or is that it going uh, out? That is going out, out of the chest. Yeah, I wanted to go out of the chest. Uh, follow me. I want to feed those deployers from a chest. Um, so this chest is currently exporting um, its materials through the funnel, but it's not directly putting it into the basin. Oh, basically what is it needs happening to be above is it's it dropping stuff into it. the basin. I see. Okay. No, 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 no. Hang on. We're assuming things. <laughs> the basin is able to well import items from the things that are being thrown into it. The inserter, well, the deployer can't. So if you want to do it that way, you need to use a shoot. Oh, so I still need to shoot anyway. Yeah. Okay. It's just so this, this saves us from having to make the um, conveyor belt for the moment. Mm -hmm. okay. So what I was trying to say with uh, the way you use the funnels is the way you have them right now. Oh, wait until you get here. The way you have them right now, uh -huh. you can switch direction if you right-click with a wrench on it. So ah. you can have a conveyor belt here, or you can throw in an item. So as you can see, it's now holding a piece of wood. I see. But you can right-click to get out as well. Okay, cool. So what I probably want to do is... Do I want to put the funnel on top? Or does it not matter? Uh, do you mean funnel or shoot in this context? Oh, right. I add the funnel to the crate and the shoot to the deployer. For example. But you can also add the crate directly above the shoot. The shoot is like a hopper, but more efficient. Oh, so I didn't need the funnel at all. Direct inventory. Okay, cool. All right, I'll get onto that. Um, the reason I'm avoiding conveyors is just the space requirements and not knowing where things are going to lay out, and then we can just add it later. I was just trying to do the shortest, and also the conveyors need to have shafts running to them, so I'd need to mess with the gearbox, I'd need to mess with all that sort of stuff. Um, and that's a lot more than just doing things in a shove a crate on top of a chute sort of way. Two per and I get four. Alright, so I've actually got enough. I don't need to make any more. 
So will the funnel pull items out of the crate? It is like a... Uh, oh, that's a creeper. It's like a hopper. Oh, Probably would have helped if I'd used hoppers at some point in my life. Um... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't really have a reply to that, do you? I, I was about to compare it to Factorio, but... Yeah. Probably not a good way to uh, explain it, is it? Um, there are probably better ways. <laughs> Do you know about the functionality of inserters in Factorio? Yep. They take from one inventory to another. I see. The hopper no. basically does that from top to bottom. Like Just I like have, the shoots. I have played how much Factorio? Where's Factorio on my most played list. It's somewhere down... Is it? Uh, I can take a quick look for you. There it is. 65 and a half hours. No, no, it's more than I expected, to be honest. It's more than satisfactory. <laughs> <laughs> satisfactory? Don't get me started. Yeah. Uh, so do I just put a... Do I need a... um? Hang on. It's alright. I got this. I'll figure it out. Let me try it. Just yell one if you need help. Don't worry. I will. It's so weird hearing that uh, from someone. Because usually people are like, oh, okay, fine. He didn't think. That doesn't work. Mm. Can I figure this out? <laughs> that would be a fun prediction. <laughs> I don't... Hmm. I think I might have... Are these stairs permanent? Uh, you mean the ones leading down onto the ground? Yeah. I intended them to be, yes, but I can change it if it's really in the way. No, no. I, I think I've just got to redo my thing so that I've got enough room. Like, I plan on making that the entrance to the warehouse. Okay, oh, yeah. The, yeah, the thing. May I please eat this cookie server? Thank you. That's better. Yeah, I... I, I so, Shadow, you've got, like... A few thousand hours in Factorio, don't you? Uh, not a few thousand, but it is my most played game on Steam. Wait, it's your most played game I... that doesn't have a few thousand? I'm shocked. I mean, you've had more time to play than I do. Than have I? That's. Uh... Oh wait, this can go a block over, can't it? I mean, can I quickly say that you're, um, <laughs> double my age? <laughs> oh, you mean that? Oh, right. Uh, I mean, yeah, from that perspective, yes, but I was more meaning, like, in terms of... When I was your age, I was playing very different games. Yeah, fair, fair. Shadow, is this going to work? Yeah, I... What I've done uh, here? Describe this. <laughs> oh, come have a look. Ah, uh, fine. I'll be there shortly. Oh, no. Don't do that. Yeah, no. Yeah, it works. I just don't know whether the press is going to work. Um, do you want me to still come take a look? Because I'm almost there now. Yeah, yeah. Still come have, have a look. 
Because there might be a more uh, a neater way to present it. There's always a neater way to do something. I learned that the hard way. Well, I mean, is is it worth doing it a neater way? Is a better way to maybe ask that. Yeah, that should work. I kind of want to move the press along a block though, because it looks kind of ugly like that. Um, if. I may recommend something that will solve that issue. Uh, put the deployers next to each other, so you can also make it one big chest, so they can split the nuggets. Ah, yeah, I'll do that. Sounds like a plan. Then you can move the press further one. Thanks, Pyromancer Blue. Thanks for the prime sub. Uh, can I remove this dirt here? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. When I was Shadow's age, Minecraft didn't exist. When I was my age, I was my age. <laughs> there we go, that looks better. Bonk. No! Why did I just no! achieve bonk? Because a piece of dirt dropped onto the conveyor belt and got pressed into path. So there's now a piece of path in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I was wondering what I did to achieve that. Because I'd been carefully not... Um, that poor piece of uh, <laughs> dirt. <laughs> I mean, it can be turned back, so that's fine. Yeah, true, true. Um, uh, cool. So now to make the make a bunch of railway pieces, I need to get a bunch of nuggets. Nope, it's not rail. It's under train. It's under track. Now, do we have more zinc or more iron? What should I use for the train track? Should I use zinc or iron? Uh, I would recommend zinc. We don't use that much zinc. Okay. And I need to take these zinc ingots and turn them into nuggets. Uh-oh. Nothing. I just dropped things. It's okay. Because for once I remembered I have a backpack. That scaffolding is pretty handy to have here. Yeah, Yard and I remember something like that too. Where things just froze. Because something had changed. Do I need to set a recipe? Uh, no. Because they don't seem to be doing, doing anything. Um, do you have the standard item? What? The item that goes onto the conveyor belt. So, the way these things work, they apply that item to another item that's going down the conveyor line. Right. So what do I need on the conveyor line? No, oh, I need a slab. Make train tracks, right? So I need to eject something onto this, the thing. Okay. Alright. Alright. I can do this. Sorry, I misunderstood the way that the thing was telling me to do stuff. That's fine. I should have the parts to make another one of those, which was... Oh, I've actually got one. Okay. Uh, can I have your opinion on something? I mean, sure. Why not? Hmm. <laughs> you 
seem to be having a few issues there. Yeah, a couple. Uh, uh, yes, opinion? <laughs> uh, the scaffolding is going through. Okay, so I have two sets of walls. Which one do you like more? The left, left? or the right? Or right. Yes. I think for a workshop, the right and... If we wanted to, we could do, like, brick instead of cobble. I was thinking about that, actually. Hmm. Well, if it's... we were both thinking it, it might be a good idea. Or an absolutely horrid idea. Either way, it's an idea, and it'll probably be done. Uh, I'll start smutting up a bunch of stone, then. And correct the hammer. Don't know what you're talking about. Me neither, because it's the right way up. No. Oh. We actually need four blast friends. Uh, oh no. Ah, oh, whatever. No one saw it. It's not there. Okay, that's it. I'm getting fire. You're getting fire? What yeah, do you I want to mass uh, smelt a bunch of stone and the best way to do that is with a bunch of fire I am confused and concerned I also need like I'll potentially need lots of stone for making the slabs right as well yeah okay well, maybe I follow you and you show me things. <laughs> and I, I learn okay. things. Do you want to help me out with something then? Uh, yeah, what do I need to do? Could you make me a fan? A fan? Yes. Uh, as in one of those ones that you lifted yourself off the ground with, or...? Yeah, exactly that one. Jokey. Encased fan. Fan blade. Okay, four iron sheets. I can do that. It does feel good having something like something like this where I've really got to learn a whole bunch of new stuff. Because for a long time I've played a lot of games where, other than a few little bits, I felt like I kind of knew my way around them anyway. Like even when I started playing Icarus, a lot of the stuff was very familiar. Intentionally so. But other than learning how to fight the bears in that, there wasn't a huge amount of like, oh, that's how this works with this thing and stuff like that. So it's kind of nice. And it's like alloy in the middle. Um, dwarf, not... to be honest, I f don't think we need a prediction uh, to say when the hammer is wonky again. Because knowing Spetsy, it already is. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, it's actually not yet. Oh, <gasps> good. good. Yet. Yet it's not now, so I'll take it. Those um, sweetberry cookies do not give you much sustenance. No, but they're also very easy to make, so... Let's go get some bread. Uh... You want some bread? Here you go. Thank you. Pacing. And... Shaft. Nope. we go. We have an encased fan. I'm about to make a macro key for riding the hammer. So that you can do it seven times. Eight. Isn't it seven? Eight. Right. One, two, Eight. three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, it is Eight. seven? Some of my clicks weren't registering. You absolute monster! <laughs> I was closing the door! 
Hey! I didn't do anything I yet! Need, I need a pan! I need a pan! Get away! Get what? away from the hammer! <laughs> I need a knockback stick! You lagged, you monster! <laughs> That's it. Oh, what? Don't do that. <laughs> okay, it, it's now got a button on it. Oh, with the button, it actually does look better vertical. This looks weird if it's wonky with the button. Oh, hang on. Hey! Stop that. You have to ruin it, don't you? Now it looks like a press. Every time! <laughs> <laughs> I can't have nice things around here. That's it, I'm taking it away. No, we don't deserve this. No, you can't do it that. It is a reason for war. You can't do that. Also, if you're going to get rid of the hammer, can I have it? No. Oh yeah, of course. Here you go. Here. Wanna give me the item frame too? No. Oh. I Where see what you're trying to do. <laughs> Where are we going with this fan? Right here. Uh-huh. Oh, what if it was always rotating? Is that a thing we could do? Yes. But we're not doing that. We're not turning it into a clock. Why not? It'd be hammer because... time. <laughs> the, the, the slow turn. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. But that's not a safe place to go. No, uh, you're going to drown. Oh, uh, it's fine. Um, so, fan, go where? Um, okay, so what we need to do is have it blasting onto a bit of lava. Or sucking a bit of lava. So we have those particles that can then smelt cobblestone into stone. So the particles can do it, huh? Yeah. Uh, did you want me to go get one of the buckets of lava? I already have a bucket of lava. But you ran off with it. Yeah, because I jumped monster. down, not knowing I could not get up again. <laughs> Thanks, Scythe. Thank you for 38 months. Where am I? Hello. Oh, goodbye. Hi. Oh, I just saw a double spitzy. That wasn't weird at all. Where are we going now? Don't tell me you were that lost already. All oh, right, this is where we started. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to say. Uh, um. So we need to attach this to some of the machinery somewhere so the fan can be blowing. Yeah. Uh, do you have a few gears in your inventory? Uh, I can do. And do you by chance have a conveyor belt as well? I do. Where do you want what? What okay. do you want where? So, could you place a large cog right here where I have the torch? Oh, you want a large one there? Okay. Yeah. That takes extra effort. Then have the fan connected to that cog wheel. And then it's a blower. Good, good. I have become uh, a wind maker, apparently. Does that work? Oh yeah, it actually does. Okay, good. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> Thank you for 18 months. I do have a bit of extra room here. 
Let's still have a few shafts. Uh, yeah. Could you place a conveyor belt between those two? Okay. So now we have a line that we need to move as well. So you want me to gear uh, to that? So we need a gearbox. Which means I need a crafting uh, table. We don't necessarily need a gearbox, actually. We can yeah. do it with one large gear here. What? So place one large gear right here, where you have the torch. Okay. At the top. We go. And what? that is the way we needed to go. So oh, hang on, what is what is making that spin? The alpha gear box. Oh, gear box. The alpha gear. The little one down the bottom, or the big one? Big one. Ah, oh, it's the big. Okay, okay. I didn't realize they could work that way. That's why I was yeah. confused. So then we do what? So, the problem right now is that that gear is going in the right direction. Yeah. So, something that I like to do... That's not quite gonna work. Nope. Because that's the wrong way. Uh, hold up. In there. You can do it like this as well. And then have a belt in the back. Oh, Those belts right. are not just for moving items, they are also for moving rotational force. Except I can't see the thing to click on it. Uh, crouch. Nope. May I try? Hang on. You got this, I believe. Oh, that will break it. Okay, that's fine too. Still going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! Monster! I love how they. Ow! Ow! Hang on. I love how they go after. No, 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 no. I know what to do. I know what to do. Also, I really need to put a torch in my hand. So I can um, see things better. There we go. Then we might be able to just have three gears. Oh, it's still from. No, wait, no. Switch is back. Oh, my brain is not functioning proper today. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Um, so. We go okay, from. Re Gear to gear, that'll reverse it, and then we mm -hmm. go from that. Yeah. Oh, that can't connect onto there directly. Okay, so I gotta make this a bit longer. <laughs> Welcome to create. Yeah. It's getting a bit ridiculous. A little bit. That's what makes Create so fun. Can't argue. It's why it's crafting stuff with a little bit of delay. There we go. So why the fence? Um, it will block the lava from flowing, but it will not block the air from flowing. I see. Okay. Where did I put my marble? Oh, there it is. Oh, I can do with this. And do you see those red particles? Uh-huh. There we go. You have uh, a piece of stuff. So we're going to need some more stuff? Uh, for 
this to work, we are going to need a brass filter. Because I want to be able to filter out stone. So it doesn't automatically pick up cobblestone. Oops. Oh, don't that's say that. Yeah, you can burn yourself, watch out. It's alright, I remembered where there was water. <laughs> ow. Much ow. So I need one electron tube. Uh, do you by chance have an electron tube? Uh, I don't, but I do... I did make the stuff to make some more back at... back in that little hut. Yep. Let me just quickly make one. Uh, there's not a death prediction on my side of the stream, currently. Probably should set it up, shouldn't I? It's been going surprisingly well so far, so it's all gonna fall apart at some point. The joys of being serious for once. Are we being serious or are we just actually... Like, how many times have you punched me today? Is it really that serious? How many times have you provoked me today? I don't know, I don't keep track. Exactly. I don't keep track of such a thing. What ludicrous idea is this? Do we still have a bit more dried gum somewhere? Yeah, heaps more. It's in the you show me where? items chest. Or would you like just some belts? Because <laughs> I've still got two more. It's in the items chest. Yeah, you know, like the stuff we picked up from critters. Um, or I Organic. can just get into your backpack and give you two mechanical belts. Uh, thank you, but that's not where I needed it for. No. Oh. Well, I Thank apparently you for missed your backpack as well, it. and I put it in a random chest, so I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thank you. Very helpful. I feel I've achieved. You certainly did um, something. Ah, found him. I feel like we need stairs. Makes you say that. <laughs> but it's a bit of a pain getting up here. Yep. I mean, this used to be my little secret zone. So. Ah. Hang on. Considering the number of gears here, could we replace them with belts now? Those are not gears. Mechanical cro- Oh. Oh? Is. How do you think I made the potato cannon? I had no idea how you made the potato cannon. Good. Good. It's... No, but it had a I special it recipe. I it was complicated. Very. Uh, you can look up the recipe for potato cannon. Holy moly, that one's gone quick. Is that to create your fan to get enough speed so that you could throw yourself up into the beehive? So this is what you're doing when you're not punching me. Yeah, making my evil layer. Um. Oh, my evil layer. So what can I do to help the next stage of this so that we can get this stone pumping out? Uh, I just need to place a brass funnel and then apply a filter, which is going to be a little bit difficult. Because that means probably burning myself, so let me quickly do this. Oh, have you got a little switch? Could you move? Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Now, whatever you do, do not open that trap door. Please. <laughs> can I uh, trust you not yes, to open it? Yes, you can trust me not to hit the thing. So you said this has got like a filter on it. How do you control the filter? So it's similar to um, uh, what's called the hands. 
Or it has a little icon, uh, a little square that pops up when you look at it. You can then right click an item on there. Oh, the icon that you can't see. Yeah, that's why I'm currently digging behind here. Uh, right. So what I'm gonna do is hold stone in my hand and then right click. So it can only pick okay. up stone. So yeah, it's the same as what we did with the um, the press and stuff back at the other yep. bit. So uh, it might be smart for us to get out of here. Yeah. The trap door. You can just open it. Yep, yeah, but I don't want it to be there. Oh, why not? Oh. <laughs> Swimming on the floor there, that's fine. Called crawling. Uh -huh. Yes. Looked very yep. much like swimming. No, this doesn't appear to be doing anything. Not yet, because the cobblestone is not smelted yet. So if you look here, you'll be able to see just oh, I... the tiny hint of cobblestone. I thought it was... Oh yeah, there we go, 64 stone. Sweet. Uh, but wait. <laughs> wait. Can I have two of them? Oh, I suppose oh, well, so. Four? I can uh, fill this. So are you going to make a thing so we can just... Or are we just popping this open and then throwing some in? Uh, No, that's why we have this little uh, dongle here still. So we can have this here. And then do the same with another funnel. Oh. Okay. Wait, so, so it can go underneath the fan, can it? Oh, okay. Like a belt is only stopped when there's a block literally in front of it. I see. It can go underneath blocks as well. Okay. Um, hmm. You might need to bash from the outside in to get around there. That might be the easiest way to do it. Yeah. Can I have to... Oh, oh, oh! Air that worked! Aesthetic. Oh, <laughs> I mean, what you did worked. <laughs> I, I don't know what I did. I didn't even see it. <laughs> you, you That's put, the thing. <laughs> you put the um, the funnel onto the belt, which then popped the cog that you'd accidentally put on the belt <laughs> off the belt, which was exactly what you wanted, um, which was kind of cool, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah, I reckon going around the outside. You, this is going to be dangerous. Oh, uh, would you like me to block that so you don't get cooked? It's fine. Ow. It's not fine. I mean, I offered. It's true. I did. I did save you a little bit by putting one down. Yeah, you did. Thank you. <laughs> Cup dry. There you go. And now we can put stone in there. Oh, uh, cobblestone. Hooray! I'll go get some cobblestone. Oh, that's gonna be so much better. Making cobblestone into stone is always such a pain. Yep. Uses up so much coal. Do, 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 do. It's safe as well. <laughs> you really need to do your best in order to uh, says, hurt yourself now. Says the person who was on fire. Because I broke it, yes. I know. It was still timing. Oh no! Oh. What have you done? Oh. The filter unapplied itself because there was no um, conveyor. Oh, that's suboptimal. Yep. Grab all this cobble that's coming in. I have a piece of stone, please. Oh wait, there's stone in here. Never mind. It was unfortunate yep. you noticed that after I shoved like twelve <laughs> stacks of cobble in. Oh, that's fine. You can throw it in again. I fix what I broke.
Oh, this is going to take about three years to smelt. Yeah, I, I cannot make it that much faster. Like, the only way to make this system faster is to make the belt longer. Which I suppose is something we can do. Why would do the belt the space longer it. make it faster? Because it can spread over more particles that way. Or, uh, yeah. So basically they're waiting in a queue right now to be smelted. And the longer the queue, the more things you can process at once. Oh. Okay. I mean, it's quick. It's like, it's not slow, but... It feels slow. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> there's, there's already three stacks of stone in there. And I grabbed another three. So, that, yeah, that, that's plenty fast enough. I'm happy. Yeah, it's just something we can throw stone in once in a while. Yeah. And pick it up. All right. Now I think a safe policy would be bring the cobblestone that you need to turn into stone every time. And then just keep a buffer in there. Hooray! Train track! Ah, you can place the train tracks in bulk. Okay. Factorial style. It's also very similar to Factorio regarding the signals and stuff. The segments, so... That'll be fun. Oops. Sprint key while connecting. Ah, we'll make a nice longest fitting bend instead. Nice! Materials in the offhand will be paved under tracks automatically. What's the third one that it shows? Huh. Is that too nice again? It, is it some. Is this showing some kind of like iron beam or something? Uh. I think that's uh, what's it called the metal bracket I think metal bracket looks like it could be yeah girders apparently girders oh yeah andesite alloy and iron sheets so I guess we probably want to move the random production stuff we've got on that terrible water wheel I made at the beginning and move it in here at some point. Uh, yeah. So what I am planning is make a second floor and have the bigger machinery up there. Oh, so this is going to be a nice two-story, big, tall thing. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, free if you count the basement, that it's going to be the storage. Yep. This sounds like a good plan. This sounds like something we... Probably should have started working on a week or two ago, but got distracted by other things. Oh, yeah. Being efficient is one thing. Having fun is another. Yeah, but can you have fun efficiently? That's a good question. So, 33 tracks. How far does that go? get me oh oh they big you know I do have to say I never thought I would be building this much and I'm all for it what do you mean what were you expecting um that you were the one that would gribble everything and I would be the one that progresses stuff but having it the other way around for once is not bad it's, I, I think it's nicer having like us both do a bit of both. Yeah. Yeah, this rail is a lot bigger than I expected. I was not expecting two blocks... Wait, three blocks wide? Mm hmm But to be fair, you also built the train itself. So... 
I did. Oh, right, you, you build will. this. Yes. Yeah, I suppose that's why it needs to be three blocks. This is going to be a big monorail. Well, hanging rail. Oh, hmm. right, that's what you wanted it for. Yeah. <laughs> Something completely non-productive. Uh, well, I gotta say, I am very glad you set up automatic track, uh, automatic track production. Yeah, me too, because we're gonna need a lot of it. Mm-hmm. If we want to get anything done, yeah. Yeah. Where's the zig against that? Yeah, definitely, uh, like, it's nice having it automated, but it's it's not especially fast about it, is it? Uh, when you look at it, it's not fast, no. But when, when you, you come don't back to it, there are... use it, yeah. We can make it faster, if we want to. But if we speed it up, we are also going to need way more stress units to get anything done in this warehouse. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm down with this warehouse? as it is. Yeah, warehouse. It's a kind of combined factory warehouse. Workhouse store shop. Factory? Should we just call it a factory? Yeah. Factory sounds right. Ah, creeper. You scared of creepers? Had a momentary lapse of memory. Hey, it's a bot of zombie. Also known as a zombie in golden armor. Ow! Curse you, zombie, for setting me on fire! <laughs> Like you are having fun. Yes. Well, I slept through the night so I could set the zombies on fire and it backfired. Literally. Yes. Would Bleeding. you like a bandage? I don't actually have a bandage. Can we make bandages? I can make it. Yeah. Oh, uh. Be good. Yeah, Zikton, it is kind of weird though, oh. the items stay in place while the belt moves. But I can totally understand it from a setting up the mod point of view why you wouldn't bother making it work better than this. Oh, having to set up the speed proper. <laughs> Already giving me shivers. Alright. Um... So if I'm going to do the rail, and it's got to be three blocks wide, and these metal girders take andesite alloy and iron sheets. Alright. Make a whole lot of iron sheets. I am going to need so many old logs. I'm almost oh, yeah. tempted to actually make a wood farm. That's automatic. Ow! Let's go back do we need the automatic wood farm yet, or do you want me to just go and help you collect some? Uh, it might be smart to make an automatic wood farm with Create. But I can also teach you about contraptions. Hooray! More learning! Oh, but I want to build my rail. <laughs> I want to build my railway. I mean, if you want to build a railway, that's fine too. Wait, couldn't you make the hanging rail out of vanilla Minecraft track? I think there's a way to have create constructions in minecarts. Yeah, uh, there are create contraptions that we can put on minecarts. Uh, create 
It was something I uh, told you about last stream as well. Yeah, that sounds likely. So, you can make a card assembler. And you can make a contraption on top of the card assembler that will then be put on a card when a card goes underneath the card assembler. So how would this work with creating like a Ray, like my monorail type car thing. Is that a thing that's feasible or, is, or are we just getting into ridiculous territories here? Um, It would be feasible. The only real challenge would be to stop the minecart in time. Ah. Eh, so we would have to battle for Nether. Set up the create. We'll go with big rail tracks. I think I can make it work. Keep in mind that Big Rail actually is Big Rail. As in the car, the train car on top will be big. That as well. Yeah. I may I may yeah. not do this as a hanging rail and I may do it as a elevated rail line instead. Yeah. Oh, I really did want to have a cable car. Wait. Would there have been a way for me to move my car from one bit to the other? Um, In terms of... So what? one of the things that we were talking about last time was doing the little the turn. But I was thinking of having two of... What are those things called? The crankshaft Gantries? things? Two of the gantry shafts, yeah. Two separate sets of gantry. Sure. You know what I mean. Two of the gantries. <laughs> I was going to have two gantries and you change from one gantry car to the other. But is there a way to move the whole car across from one gantry to the next? Ooh. Because that would be a better way to do it. Because then I can have the two gantry rails and it just goes down and then at a certain point gets kicked across to the other one and then it moves along that one. Uh, it sounds possible. Hmm. I'm just not sure how connected the gantry is to its gantry shaft. Because that would be the problem. Yeah. Because what I'm imagining is if I have two of the gantry... Whatever they're called, the mechanisms, at 90 degrees to one another, when you reach the end of one section, it'll line up so that the new one is now aligned as well. And then it's just figuring out how I could disconnect them, if that's even possible. Hmm. Yeah, the gantry carriage could, in theory... I, we would really need to find a way to disconnect the carriage from yeah. the gantry. I don't know how to do that smoothly. Like, one way that we might be able to do it is have a contraption on a contraption. So, subgrid on a subgrid. Yeah. Which we can do with a mechanical piston. A rope pulley. And... Oh, oh, yes, so, so we basically push it out of the way. Is that what you're sort of thinking? So we push one off, which then connects us to the next one. Wait, Spitzy, what kind of angle are you looking for? 90 degrees. That was all. What if we made a swing? Like a car that just swings in an arc. Uh... So, not a monorail, but like... Ropes? Actually, a night. Something like, a pendulum. like that. A little bit, but then horizontal instead of vertical. So, but would that allow me to still get the diagonal movement that I'm wanting? Because I that'd... need. Oh, wait. Okay, hang on. I I need to show you what I mean. Yeah, I I'm I'm down with a rope swing. I'd I'd do a rope swing instead of a gantry. Yeah, because that'd be hilariously fun to travel on then that'd actually be a fun way to travel between <laughs> our houses um but i just need to be able to do that bend that's the big that's the kicker 
is that the I could make it so it was perfectly straight. I could make it so that we had like I could expand okay. the number of trees on one of these spots so that it's they're all in a straight line. But it, um, if I don't have to, it'd be nice if I don't have to. So let's see. Right now, you need to go from point A to B to finally C. Correct. Well, let me place it like this. So, what if instead of going like this, we actually had a swing that goes a bit more like this? So, a swing that just went wee out there. Yeah. Yeah, if, if we can do that, I am 100% on board with this. That will be amazing. Uh, you know how I told you about the ability to make a clock? Oh. Yeah? We could make a system similar to that using a radial chassis? I no, not a radial chassis. What was it? Uh, mechanical bearing. That's the one. Ah. So we can just spin instead of move. All right, I can make a mechanical bearing. It might be crazy enough to work. I, I definitely want to test this at small scale first. So... What am I doing? Mechanical berry. What's that? That, then. Uh, I don't need to go here. Yeah. Alright, have a mechanical bearing. What do we do next? Uh, well, place it on the ground where you can supply rotational force to the back of it. Um, so away from the thing you want to turn. Let's. Should we just use a crankshaft, like a hand crank, for the moment, just so that we can test this? That's small scale. So how high up do we want it? Up like that. Ah, oh, that works as well, actually. Do you have glue on you? Do I have blue on me? Blue. Blue? Uh, yes. Did so you glue that together? Glued. So, what we can do is something like this. Uh -huh. Oh, and can we then rotate at 45? Like, can we rotate the mechanical bearing off to a different angle? So we can also, well, this is going to be a very weird example. We need another mechanical bearing for this, don't we? We can spin it like this as well. No, we only need one. No, 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 because uh, how do we swing at 45 degrees to the grid? I thought that's what we we're trying to do. Yeah, we only need one. We can make this the entire transport, right? Oh, are you meaning like it goes around in a circle like at on the horizontal plane? Yeah. Oh, see, what I was thinking was if we... Can I... Oh, didn't mean to glue. Oh, it only goes to 90 degrees. It doesn't stop. I was thinking if we could stop this at 45 um... and had another one attached to it, we can then have the swing where you go down close to the ground and then you come back up uh, and then you hop off. Uh, we might want to move. <laughs> oh. That is a bit dangerous. Uh, let me just... Uh, I was wondering what that noise that was. That dude has some reach. <laughs> we had the same idea. Burn, drowned and burn. Oh. What happened? That's a horrible pun. Why didn't Han Solo enjoy his steak dinner? 
it oh, was yeah. chewy. Um, so yeah, is there a way to do a contraption on a contraption where the contraption can move once the first part's moved, or can they move at the same time? Mm, you can only move one contraption at a time. So, so when a contraption the is not uh, that still, like this, you cannot move a contraption that's on that contraption. Yeah. So this doesn't really... So what I was imagining was, like, if if you... If this could turn to, say, 45 degrees, then we could swing vertically like a pendulum between two points that are on diagonal to each other. But it doesn't seem like there's any way to do it as a downward swing. It would always be a kind of a rotational thing on one axis only. There's no way to move on two axes at the same time. No, not at the same time. Hope. I'm just going to let you figure that out. Might Enjoy be back to the rail knowledge. car. Idea, I think. I actually no, I th I think I'd like to see if I can figure out how to do the whether there is a possible way to do the gantry moving thing. But I wonder whether it'll break the super glue. Uh super glue doesn't break. What if you move a block within the super glued area with a piston? It will move the entire contraption that's connected to that. Yes, it should. Oh. So super glue is basically see this entire area as a singular block as long as it is connected. Oh. Well, that could work because we just have a piston at the midway point and push the cart onto the correct spot for the next bit of gantry. So it switches rails. Uh, it's basically a rail switch. And because the gantries are at 90 degrees to one another, they can't actually grip the new gantry, I think, because it'll be the wrong direction. So I'll need two gantry cars on it. All right, I might need to make this in small scale again and just see if it's possible. My brain is hurting. <laughs> Mine's not. I think this could work. Couldn't you run three runs of rope between the three locations and have them pull together to get each like what? I don't understand Inherited Drake. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. So. Um, what I need to do is grab the gantry shafts. something I need to make a bit of a gantry shaft there and we put another one over here Oh, curse you. Yeah. I do love how complicated you are making it for yourself. Okay, that's step one. Now I just need a gantry car. Well, this is kind of how I learn things like this. I tend to unnecessarily complicate things so then I learn how to do things with it. Like for for some ridiculous aesthetic thing, I'll be like, "Okay, I'm just going to I'm going to do it this way because I want to do it this way." And then yeah. sometimes it in it like forces me to learn something that I would have otherwise had no idea about. 
That's fair. And because it's aesthetic design, you can take your time with it, so I never feel like I'm rushing to learn a thing. Yeah. So I can take my time, and then it all just starts to make sense. I'm like, ah, I know what I'm doing now. So, yeah, Inherited Drake, something like a CNC machine would be too bulky for what I'm trying to do here. Um, and apparently doesn't necessarily work. Oh, that's a mechanical bearing. What? Gantry carriage. Oh, it's a cog on the gantry carriage. <sighs> Very snicker. Welcome in anyway. Don't make two. So Shadow, can I talk you through what I think might work now? Are you asking me to be a rubber ducky? Yeah. Rubber ducky. Not quack if that's what you want me to do. So imagine, if you will. I am imagining. Well, first of all, the hammer. So this. Hey, don't do that. That's so mean. So this goes down, gets to this point. Uh -huh. A piston then pushes this block onto the next rail. Oh. Because a piston, a sticky piston could grab this and pull it, couldn't it? I'm not sure. I don't, like, that's the problem that I have with this. I don't know how forced the connection is between gantry and gantry shaft. Well, I guess this would be the point to build a piston and try and push it onto the other gantry. Yeah, you okay. could try. I need for a piston. And is there a... I should probably use a create mechanical piston rather than a... Yeah. I don't know if they change the way pistons work or how they make the contraptions work. But piston let's use the create one to be pole. safe. Yes. Hashtag <laughs> one more piston. Yeah. Ally, nope. Uh. What? Oh. Uh. Don't mind me. Looking at one thing and immediately forgetting what it is. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds normal. Something I can relate to as well. I need to get some more andesite soon. Um, actually, we can start making it. Like, we have infinite quartz, technically. We do? Yeah, using the villager. Oh, right. Or, well, with the help of the villager, would be a kind of way to say it. <laughs> That would be a kinder way to say it, yes. Mechanical piston. Um, now, let's get some sand, shove that there. Hmm. Oh, piston. you just mm, then it started raining. Are you a god? <laughs> Wait. Huh. 
Why isn't this piston moving? Why are you no work? No, the piston shouldn't need to be glued. Does it need to something to push though? Oh, insert extensions. Oh. <laughs> what? This for your box. How do I? Nope. Wait, ow. What? Where did I just get a hit from? <laughs> On the back. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Breaking stuff with this does not do behave the way that I thought it would. Okay, now we now we got now we're cooking with gas. Gas. Hmm. Stinky, stinky gas. Oh, actually, gas doesn't smell. Stinky, stinky additive to gas. That's it. I'm sorting my inventory. This is getting out of hand. It works! It works! It works, it works, it works. Yes, yes, yes. I pushed it. I pushed it from one to the other. And now put it back. Well, see, this is the thing. I think I'm going to need to have uh, some tricksy pistons arranged and maybe sticky ones um yes 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 uh but with a sticky piston if it's not glued it should just be able to move on let's try okay sticky piston which is just a glob of slime on the thing Robin Flesh, my favorite. Stand. Sticky. That's actually a good point, boss. Let me try that right now. Oh. Just mm. not. Today is a sad day. Uh, yeah, I can transfer back and forth. Now, what happens when I move this? It moves! Uh, I'll Go try back. that next, folks. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. This way. Cleaning my inventory, that's what I wanted to do. And maybe making a stack upgrade. Okay. With a bunch of clever gearing, I should be able to make this work. You'll have to flick a switch in the middle to change rails. Although there's probably some way to automate that down the line. But if I can make it so that you have to flick a switch in the middle and that's all you need to do and you continue on, I'm going to be very happy. <laughs> there's one way to say it. What's one way to say what? You said it as a very... Um statement-esque way what, I can and make then this work. I am going to be very happy mm -hmm. it, it, it just caught me off guard yes yes I did the thing I did a thing that was unnecessarily complicated but will hopefully be cool yes 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 
Hmm. That would make stuff easier, so let's try. But first, I really need to clean up everything. Uh, I don't You'd use some redstone to activate the piston switch. Yeah. All oh, right, this might actually be a good time for me to teach you why it is redstone. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh no. All right. Okay. Why, why do you sound so disappointed? It's very easy. Redstone. Redstone sounds way too much like make my brain hurt. Programmer logic gates nonsense. It's fine. This is literally just transferring one pulse to another location. Like, hey. nothing more complicated than the elevator right now. Right, let me just uh, smelt some of this sink, because we're not making any rails right now. Sounds good. The smeltery, is there a way to add more than... Like, is there a way to auto-add more stuff to it? Uh, yeah, you can use a hopper to import stuff into it. Okay. But you need to put a hopper on the smeltery controller. Yeah, so... Or I think an item shoot is a thing that exists as well. But if you just want to smelt a bunch of ore, I would recommend putting them in a 3x3 area in your crafting grid. So you can make it a block. Because you can smell oh. blocks as well. Okay. Yeah, I probably should have done that at the beginning. Oh well. There's yep. only ten more to go now. It's quite quick at processing the zinc. I just wanted more zinc for the rails. Okay, so magic wireless redstone. What are you doing with that B? Be free, little B. Thanks, Tommaso. Thank you for 16 months. Be on my head. You did. Yeah, of course. Um. Hmm. Oh, I can't remember whether it's control or shift, and I think I'm going to punch the B if I get the get it wrong. will be okay. Oh. You did that. Did I? Yeah. It broke when I wasn't there. When you okay, jumped on it. Let me fix it then. I don't think we need to fix it. It's fine. You've made a bigger farm elsewhere. <laughs> um, so what are you what are you doing teaching redstone shenanigans? Right. Uh, so let's go to the gates. Let me quickly find the name of it again because I always forget. I think it's called Redstone Link. Yep. Uh, if you type in Redstone Link, uh, make one of those. One set of those. Should you get that B off of your head as well? Brass ingot onto stripped log. Log. There is the brass ingot. Okay, next step. Once that gets out of my way, let me see the things. There's too many recipes. Uh, and a redstone torch. Do I need two redstone links? Oh, you get two. You get craft. two. Yep. Okay, I have made the redstone links. Okay. I 
what is the best way to show this? Do we have a redstone lamp or anything redstone related? Uh, we can use uh, a switch, like a lever. Yeah, but that was more like something that can receive redstone and does a thing. Oh, we we could do the lift. Yeah, although the lift will be a bit more complicated. Why is that? It's just a simple trail up here that we'd be replacing, isn't it? How did you do the other lever? They're both done in the same way, it's just the other one's sort of moved. But this would allow us to move the lever to somewhere that's easy to hit from inside. But the problem with doing it with an elevator is that you also need to set up a switch. So when it receives a redstone signal, it will then switch the redstone signal. Oh, so it's not just going to pass through whether there's an active or a passive signal. It will, but if you want to place it inside of the elevator, it'll um, it'll reset. Oh, no, I wasn't Thank meaning inside. I was just meaning replace the current signal with a, just using this as the replacing thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, that's... The <laughs> I was I was thinking much simpler. I thought like you wanted to get a button so you can press a button and then switch to the elevator. Eh. I mean we could eh. eventually. I'm not against you doing that for it at some point. Me? Well yeah, it sounds like you're the one that needs to learn. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> Do we, from the lever, do we need a redstone okay. circuit so or can we just the shove redstone, that there? Yep, yeah, that works. And then we need enough of a part for the receiving end. Are you sure you don't want it to be on the thing that actually needs to receive the redstone signal? It's next to it. Thank I'll you. ask it again. Are you sure you don't want it to be on the thing that needs to receive the redstone oh, signal? Oh, can it be on it? Yeah. Well, yeah, we can do it that. functions just like a lever where it transmits the redstone signal into the block it's on. Wait a second, does this mean I could remove all the contraption up the top and just have a single contraption down here and I have both of them sending to this same one? Yeah. Yes. But then the problem once again is um, if you have two levers that are on, what happens then? Uh... Oh, is that when I have to learn the button? Yeah, that's when you need to get a switch. But Create does have a block to make a switch. Okay, well, let's let's break my brain later. <laughs> How do I connect it... to these two? Okay, so. One needs to be transmitting, which is the standard state they're in right now. And one needs to be receiving, which you can do by hitting one with a wrench. Okay, receiving. Does it have a little dish? Yes, it does. Okay. Now we need to set up the frequency. Uh -huh. So they have two little, um, yeah, two little squares. You can put an item in. For example, I'll do a bell. You can have it be frequency one bell, and bell. So now, if you toggle that lever, it'll ah. transmit the signal. Okay. So you've got as many but... signals. You've got as many frequencies as there are items. Yeah, but it will not transmit it like this. They need to be exactly the same. So you can also oh. right click with an empty hand in order to clear that signal. So it's not it's not frequency one and frequency two, it the combination of the two items is the frequency. Exactly. Ah. So there's even more frequencies than you think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Near infinite. Depending on the pack you play. You did exactly what Capac did. <laughs> that is literally exactly what Capac did. Nice. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that was very fast for a moment. Hmm. But yeah, that's how wireless redstone works with Create. Okay. All right. Uh...
that'll be useful eventually. All right. Do you want me to show you how to make the switch? Because it's very easy. Wind. You're thinking too much about it. Well, I was That's more thinking right if you could show me when I was ready to use it. So I can apply it immediately rather than forgetting it and then having to get you to explain it again. I mean, you did say I would be the one to do the elevator. So you want me to do the elevator instead of making my rail car? Fine! It'll, it'll Fine. take like five minutes tops. <laughs> All right, show me the thing. <laughs> I'll be sure to not show you stuff in the future if you're going to be so... Uh, don't don't, 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 don't be like that. <laughs> Considering how much you punch me, I think I'm being pretty uh, pretty good about this stuff. Okay, so... I need a piece of redstone. Howard Toggle Latch. Yes. So this is currently a lever. Yeah. But if you give it a singular redstone signal, it'll switch. Then it will stay. If you give it another redstone signal, it will switch. Yeah. So now I can That's just have literally a... it. But you think that the button won't work on the lift if we did this? It will work. As in... Actually, we can let's... have the button in the lift itself. Yeah, let's test it. Well, I mean, if it's... Like, one person use only, but... Why would it break if it was more person use? What if it's up and you need it to go down? Then the person like... pushes the button and it comes down. Ow! Yeah, but what if you're it? not in reach of the button? Like, what if you are down and you want to go up, but the elevator is also up? Then the... No, I, I was meaning there's a button on the left and there's buttons on the... There's call buttons as well. Ah. Yeah, so we just need uh, one more redstone link in order to set that up. Uh, let me make another link. Thingy. There's a joke to be made here. And I'm totally mature enough to not giggle at it. Oh dear. <laughs> What are doing? Why did I put that back there? I don't know. I don't know either. There we go. More redstone link. So, if I get rid and of let me get the... this. Uh, should we actually keep the bell frequency for the elevator? Yeah, I think that works. Yeah, okay. Bell then. I do wonder if the elevator is big enough to pull this off, though, with, with um, stuff actually on it. Redstone. Oh, we can just have it on the side. Have the latch here and then have the button here. Oh, latch, uh, the link. Oh, the link can be mounted on the side of blocks. Ah. Yep. So that's frequency one. Then we place the button. Uh, I would recommend placing the button on top. Or moving the link down one now. Okay. I think I got the bell back. The bell uh, it does not consume the bell. It literally just copies the item. It does oh, not consume the item. Oh, okay. So, okay. Yep. So now if you press the button... Yep. It's starting, but we need to put that switch in. It doesn't continue to transmit it. So, yeah. So what we probably want to do is pick this up. But... That directly on top. And I'm curious to see if this will work or not. That there. And then pop the bell on. Getting something. Am I? Yeah. Oh, set it to receive. There you go. Okay. Uh, what I would then recommend is move the redstone link to this uh, cog Yeah, wheel. so it's actually lighting up a redstone circuit. No. 
uh, not quite what I meant, but sure. Let's well, see if this works. That would work. Uh, no. Nope. Because it is still transmitting power to the gear Oh, sorry. Ow! That was a. Ow! That didn't mean to happen. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, mean. Rude. So, what I wanted to say is have two pieces of redstone here. Yep. And, and switch there. All then. the way around. Oh, is it? There it has a little arrow pointing toward the input side. That. Then bell. This is unnecessary having this redstone transmitter here, but uh, it kind of needs to be in the link. Yay! There you go. Buttons work. Although, for some reason, I've used a stone button rather than your blue button. Uh oh. Blammer. No! Oh, the cat <gasps> got hit. Oh, the cat is fine. Also, I have never seen a creeper be able to get that close to a cat and still blow up. Hmm. That's the first. Meow. Meow indeed. Oh, goodbye. Bye. Meow. There's another creeper there. Enjoy. Also, focus oh, you let Sol out of his boat. That's right. Yep. I don't know where the other two are, though. Yeah, I think they died. Probably. And they got killed by the skellies. Uh-oh. Zoom, zoom, zoom! <laughs> I'm safe right here. But, uh, yeah. Do you think you can set up the buttons on the yeah. upside now without my help? Well, I think so. I, I am going to give you the bell. Because I really need to go to the bathroom right now. <laughs> I see. Well, I will continue uh, to do my thing. Uh, what is smart? Hiding inside of a house, yes. Yes, probably. The house is the best spot. Thank you, Romanez. Yeah. Thank you for nine months. Yeah, I'll be right back. Aaron? I am going to attempt to build more of my gantry thing. Which is going to require a lot of scaffolding, I think. I need to get back up there. Figure out how I'm going to get the piston onto that tree right there. In the right spot to push the gantry across. And then I'll figure out the redstone after. Slash get Black Shadow to teach me what redstone I need to do to make the piston do what I want it to do. Because I should be able to die uh, from falling. Good job. Ow. Click that thing along to there. This lines up perfectly from here. Okay. Scaffolding. About there's about right. So yeah, if I line this up so that it's probably do I want to stop here? Maybe. All right. I'll flick the switch and I'll turn that around to the other way because uh, having the car in the way is actually not helpful. And I don't know what'll happen to it if I break the bit that it's supported on, if the whole thing just collapses. I'm guessing it just hangs there, but I don't know. And I don't want to find out. I'm down here. Yes, meow. Hmm. Hmm. 
This needs to be a button. Okay, I'm back. Like turns out, uh, the lady said. Oh. Um, turns out that the lever breaks the button function. Because it needs to be a pulse. Yes. Where'd my cat go? Oh, there's my cat. Your cat? Your cat? My cat. Isn't it our cat? Oh, ow. <laughs> well done. Thank you. I mean, I am the crazy cat woman. So. Oh, yeah, fair enough. It's your cat. I mean, it just fits too well for it to not be your cat at this point. Uh, burr, 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 burr. This way. Right, I was in the process of cleaning up my inventory a bit more. Clean inventory. Who does that? So it's weird to play with someone who has a clean inventory. This is an unusual experience for me. Likewise. <laughs> I mean, mine's not clean right now, but I probably should jump on the server in between stream sessions and just clean things up. Because it does bug me a little. Yeah, I think it would be smart to do some off-stream sorting as well when we have the new storage system set up. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. I mean, fortunately... Both of us have access to be able to restart the server and do the things if we need to. Yep. Oh, gantries can go vertical. Yes, they can. No, don't. Oh, I told you. I think. All right. So. How could I do this? I'm going to need a separate power source, I think, at each point. Unless there's a way to take power from a gantry without it. Gantries can transfer power to each other. They can, but if you have a... Have you got my stream up? Yep. Yeah. So if you have a look at what I'm looking at, how would I transfer power from the spinny one to the not spinny one without blocking the gantry oh. crane from going along? And they do have to be in that arrangement. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that is going to be... So I think I'm going to need a second windmill over at the receiving end of the gantry. Uh, which will power this one. Which is problematic because that means... The set up something... Ah, oh, no, it's fine. Because I was planning on having a switch for it anyway. So that's okay. I wish you luck. That's okay. It will work. Se separate windmills per tree looks cool. Yeah, that's valid too. It's not bad having multiple. Yeah, that's it. I'm making an automatic tree farm. <laughs> uh... Going mad. I mean, I can keep this as decorative as well. Don't have to remove this. When the trains are running, who will be the conductors? Oh! Salt? Um, so, to get a train running, mm -hmm. you actually do need an entity either in a seat or a blaze burner. Because they do need something to activate them. Right, so we would have to drive them until we're willing to go down to the nether for the blaze. Or until we have a seat and put an entity on it, like a bee or a parrot or a creeper might work as well. Um. It's people.
Oh, if we're feeling risky, a skeleton. We, do we have to use weird mobs, or could we actually use a testificate? We can use sheep as well. Oh. I feel like I'm just being ignored at this point. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just realized the mic was very far away from me. Whoops. Sticky mechanical piston. Kind of out over here, which do I have the right? I do have cypress logs, yes. I'm going to need to fatten up this tree a fair bit for this to make, to not look too ridiculous. Or get down a few, I can possibly make it look like a branch. Oh, oops. I just moved all the leaves off of a tree. Yeah, Ultima is quite good for that, even though it still does feel, even with that much, a little bit on the cheaty side. Yeah, but it is oh so convenient. <laughs> it is oh so convenient. Uh, piston shaft, where is it? Just an extension pole. Oh! 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 Ow! Ah! Skeletons! Well, Ow! Um, I'm kind of up a tree, so... You might be the one doing the sleeping. The, the person who's the least safe from being attacked should do the sleeping. I'm up a tree! I don't have any space to sleep! There. So, yes. <laughs> yes, the person up a tree should be the one doing the sleeping. Uh, okay. So I'm going to need to take mechanical force from one of these to turn it into the piston, but I'm going to need a way to switch it so that the piston goes one way and then goes back the other way. Look. Hey, Anthony. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it'll be a gear shift. That's what I'll, I'll use for it. I'm just trying to think of how to arrange it. Do I have a gear shift on me? I don't think I do. So I'll need a gear shift. I'll need a bunch of cogs. I just had a massive brain error. I love it. <laughs> brain error. Yes, also called uh, a brain fart. What? That's how big of a brain fart I just had. <laughs> Such a big brain fart, I forgot the word fart. Mm -hmm. The world is cruel. Iron sheets. Need. Bonk. Um, so, yeah, adjustable chain gear shift, sequenced gear shift, just a gear shift, I think, box cogwheel redstone. Why did you do that slow turn to look at me? <laughs> because I saw you have me on your screen. Oh. <laughs> Shift. Now we see if we can get this to work. And I'll need to have a lever as well. I'll do this with some proper detection stuff down the line. I just want to make it... I, I tend to approach this sort of stuff as make it work, then make it better. Because if I try and make something too perfect to begin with, I tend to miss things and it takes forever to figure out where I've stuffed it up. 
And yeah, like the Redstone Observer thing and learning stuff like that is a thing I intend to do, but just don't think I'm ready for just yet. Not enough. Oh, poop. I believe in you. Oh, Bye. we've got another naked sheep. I forgot that I need to make gearboxes on a crafting table and I climbed up there and I went out. Oh. A few before I go up. Uh, do we have any extra anisides alloy? I have two on me, that's all. Yeah, okay, then I'll make some more. Oh! Apparently we had anisite in here. Oh, you know. Um, where is the rest of our cobblestone? It's a stone. Oh no! What? Don't see a problem with this? Not at all. Never. Nope. Well. Hmm. The impression Black Shadow doesn't agree with me on that one. <laughs> Gee, what makes you say that? <laughs> okay. Intuition. I'm going to call it intuition. Yeah, that tree is basically how I feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, 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 I'm so sorry, Sol. How, can we uh, convert Sol back? Oh, you uh, killed him! anymore. But we didn't have the materials to do so because we need a brewing stand. Oh, you must And spider eye with two types of mushroom, I believe. I clip oh, that. well, we weren't ready for... Um... Oh, too hard. Too hard, basket. Clipping is always too hard, basket. Uh, let's just shove the lever on here. I was going to clip so I could show you murderizing Sol. Yeah. It's a funny one. Sure. Never happened. Also, I should make another shield. I've never had a shield in this, which is unusual for me. I, it's normally one of the first things I do. Oh, uh, the arm? Oh, I don't think it works. Yeah, so it's just on vacation, definitely. Mm -hmm. Like Nico said. Mm -hmm. He went to visit his family. Yeah, up at the big farm, upstate. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. His family farm. Mm-hmm. Lies. Uh, what am I doing? How am I going to make this work? Uh... That's a good question. Yeah. Two of those. Uh, does that actually work? Oh! Oh. Oh, yeah, you're right. That works. That definitely That's work. something that would have been good to know earlier. What'd you do? Nothing. Okay, where do I need to get this so that I can get this to turn? Need another gearbox. Okay. 
This is so unnecessary and I love it. What's so unnecessary? What are you up to? Me casing, I'm using a deployer with NSI ally on stripped wood. See. Hmm. Oh, no, that doesn't work like that. No. <laughs> what you do? No, I just... I didn't bring quite enough stuff up here for me to make this work for me. <laughs> I'm trying to be lazy. <laughs> and not come back down. <laughs> uh, okay, what do you need? I don't know. Lots of gearboxes. Oh, yeah, you have fun with that. Can Can you see what I'm trying to join up? Hey, Robo. Not quite. Uh, the cable car is oh. coming along. That needs to join to there. Oh. Oh. So, oh, yeah. Um. I think I could do it, like, part of it with big gears, but it's just all a bit more cramped than it should be to make that work nicely. So what I kind of need to do is... Oh, wait a second. No, I can do this easily. What am I doing? That goes there. And then two little cogs. Done. Thought there was a solution. Oop. Yay, piston moves. Okay. Progress. Next step. Go to the other one and build a windmill. Then test it with a car. One made in a way that hopefully allows me to um reach the lever that I put in place. I'm very curious to see how that end system will work. I'm very curious as well. That's not a good sign. Well, it seems like it makes sense. Like, it seems like it should work. Because I did test it and it did work in the testing. So hopefully it remains that way. Oh, right. Now that I'm not in combat, you can sleep. I see how it is. I don't know what you're talking about. Sneaky, sneaky. No, I, I literally didn't have two spots to put the bed down and I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Oh, fine. yeah, it's fine. I'm just messing with you. Need glue. Need glue. There. All right, I will be back in just a moment. I'm going to take a quick bio break. Uh, let's go and put it on the be right back where you can still hear Black Shadow. That one. Oh no. Oh yes. Wait, no, this wasn't what I signed up for. No, oh, don't leave me here. This is going to be safe. Oh, as safe as he can be around me. Okay, Neko. Have a good one. Did I put it in here? Oh, I... But the deployer. I thought I had an extra. Apparently I do not. That's a good idea. Oh! Oh, 
I did the wrong thing. Oh, but he doesn't have his armor enabled. No! <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit of a flaw to uh, block him off. That's fine. Sometimes I try to be nice, like, save him from the dangers of the world beyond. Sometimes. And I'm back. Welcome back. And I'm apparently fenced in. Yep, you're welcome. I did not do it out of troll. I did it out of um, protection, I guess. Well, thank you, I guess, then. Thanks, Dear Zombie. Thank you for a year of Prime. And, mmm, I have snickerdoodles. Oh, sure. Um. Hmm. How do I make the sweet That's cookies? Uh, I don't know how to make them. Sweet berries and two wheat? <laughs> Ooh, you're being called out, Splitsy. For eating on stream. Hey, I often eat on stream, it's just I don't chew loudly into my microphone as a result. No oh, om nom 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 stream? No oh, ASMR? <laughs> I'm... <clears throat> I get that it is nice for some people, but man, is it everything awful to me. I enjoy bubble wrap. That's just because it reminds me of the times I get to pop the bubble wrap. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. But you don't enjoy popping bubble wrap? Oh, I do. I don't so much enjoy other people popping it, because that's bubble wrap I don't get to pop. Oh, you just ruined that for me now. You monster. Well, to be fair, I didn't really listen to it anyway. But regarding ASMR, that's the one ASMR I can listen to. Sorry for ruining your occasional ASMR experience then, I guess. I accept your apology? Yeah. There we go. More upwards inflections equals more good. Are you sure? Hey, I'm Australian. We're supposed to put upwards inflections at the end of everything. <laughs> okay, fair. So is it just going to be loke, loke? oak Lonk. in the wood farm? Uh, I can add more types of wood. It'll just be a bit more complicated, but I can. Do you reckon we could do, like, the cypress or the willow? Oh, the crazy no, weird no, trees. No. They are too big and they require specific planting, which is not something I can do. Okay. So, how are the cookies? Make us more challenge, since you're already at it. Hmm. Delicious. Good. They are cinnamony and sweet. Oh, you're actually making me hungry. It was not a good idea to say that. <laughs> <laughs> why, is, why is there a wet bee in the air? And why aren't its wings flapping? Weird. Maybe it's having an off day. Don't 
Don't you have an off day sometimes? Um, some might say that's every day. There. Twenty-four. Is that gonna be enough? Six per. Yeah, it'll work for now. I can increase them in size later. Uh, do I have one of those? No, I don't have the right bearing. Oh. Hey, horse. I. Uh. Are you making a Are you making a windmill that's horizontal? <laughs> you monster. It's not just a windmill, that's the thing. Just you wait. I'm figuring this out how I want to lay it out. Still a monster for putting it horizontally. No. You call me a monster. You're saying for that only makes me feel better. Thing? My thing, even. So, about that um, beehive you were working on. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your words, old man. You'll come <laughs> to regret them someday. <laughs> you gotta do the windmill vertically. You know this. Sheesh. Uh, this is actually quite horrifying. <laughs> what? Are you not seeing my head? Oh. Um. Stare into your dark, soulless eye. Hmm. Creepy. Very. Makes me wonder what this looks like. <laughs> <laughs> There's a part of me that really wishes we could interact with that so you could do a Pinocchio. Oh, your fingers on the back of the head. Right. <laughs> it just Somebody makes have a back sense. scratcher, I imagine. Yeah. Yep, Anthony, that was exactly what was going through my head. You're a monster! Uh, please don't do that voice again. <laughs> Actually, you got me uh, shivering. <laughs> the proper nails on chalkboard sort of thing. Not my gum. The I'm uncomfortable. Not my gum drop buttons. Ah. Oh, I haven't done my falsetto like that in a long time. I need to get better at it. It's been too long. Can't get the pitch right. Right, I do actually have barrels on me. I mean, of course I do. I am prepared. <laughs> so do you use barrels just because they look nicer? Or is there some other advantage to them? Uh, Depends where... Well, you've been using barrels for most of your production stuff, I've noticed. Um, barrels you can open no matter what's above them. And they look nicer. Okay, so there's a practical and uh, an aesthetic advantage. Gotcha. Oh yeah, I'm going to I'm I'm looking forward to messing around with uh voices while reading books. Oh right. I was about to say like who are you going to terrorize now, but then I realized you're about to be a dad. <laughs> I will terrorize my own child. That seems to be what you Ooh. do as a dad, right? 
monster. Yeah, <laughs> very, very accurate. <laughs> I mean, my nephews and nieces didn't ever seem to mind. So it probably isn't that bad. I mean, they are part of your family, so... Probably used to it already. Ah, uh, where do I want to do this? Part of me that wants to send a secondary shaft along the top just to move power over here. So it's all coming off the Something one you can windmill. Do. The reason being is I'm not sure where I want to put the windmill on here yet and I don't want to have to move it later. So uh, you're lazy but also efficient. Well, isn't that's why you become efficient? Is because you're lazy. True. Do that way. Kinda. I kinda do. Basically efficient Actually. or efficiently lazy. Hmm. Yeah. That's the question. Done this wrong, I can make it better. Okay, it is almost time to turn on the murder blender. Oh no, I can't make this better. Never mind. Um, I would have to have a second thing coming along. I was thinking for a second if I switched the spinny one so it was pointing out, then I could transfer that force onto here, but I'm still going to need to have something to transfer it onto here, onto this one, and I can't do that. I'm honestly surprised I didn't get a response. Uh, I was so confused with what I was trying to do that um, I missed what you said. What did you... What, what did you do, you inhuman monster? I'm about to turn on the murder blender. Oh, murder blender. Uh, I guess I should come and have a look. Yeah. Um, I guess water silk isn't supposed to give fall damage. Hmm. Look at the gantry and click and hold the W button. I think it will show you a way for it to work. All right, I'll have a look. The thing is that the pieces have to actually be aligned unless I put multiple gantry pieces on it, but I'm not sure that's the best way to do it. But apparently I have to come and see the murder blender. Beautiful. You're about to create IKEA meatballs. <laughs> not exactly what my plan was, no. <laughs> okay. I would recommend not getting too close to this. Okay. Empty hand. Oh, duh. It's uh, <laughs> usually a smart idea to add cells. Ta -da! It's going the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. So is this what you're going to set up to chop any trees that it runs into? No, yep. it's planting trees behind it. Uh, it's also not connected correctly. Oops. Why are you not connected, good sir? There you go. Let's try that one more time. First, gotta put back the saplings. And not the alloy. There we go. 
So whenever a tree grows, it will automatically cut it down and plant back a sapling. Uh huh. Okay, I did. So I, not very fast, but. I don't hate the way that you've got the sails on it now. They make more sense in this sort of arrangement. You know, I just place them that way to annoy you, right? <laughs> I wasn't sure. What did, What are you giggling at? <laughs> this isn't what I meant to happen, but. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh. I think your glue might be too far out. Oh, it's fine. Why did it start working and then stop working? Hmm? Oh, because it doesn't have enough saplings. Oh, right. So we're just going to... So whenever it, yep. it comes across a storage interface, it will link, it will deposit storage, and when it doesn't have anything else to do, it will continue along its path. Okay. Are there any issues with having the saplings immediately beside each other in terms of growing the wrong type of tree? Not with oak that I know of. Okay. Alright. Cool. Also. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a rocket launch. Oh! That's just loud! <laughs> Nice one. Uh, <laughs> now, I was told to look at Gantry. Carriage. Yep, yep, yep. Can move attached blocks, yes. <laughs> Entry power propagation. Redstone powered gantry shafts stop moving their carriages. Oh. Instead, <gasps> its rotational force is relayed to the carriage's output shaft. Oh. It's about to work. It's going to work. Here it goes! Oh. Look. So, with this sawmill, how does it... How does it um, manage to break all of the logs attached to that? Uh, that's something create does. Oh, okay. Because of the sawmill. So the sawmill block will always do that. Yep. You know, I, I gotta fix those saplings. I it's starting to drive <laughs> me crazy. Yeah, how do you glue you're gonna have to kind of create two separate glue zones, aren't you? Yeah, I had two separate glue zones anyway, but got too big. Yeah. Okay, back to what I was doing. Uh Sorry for the distraction. It's okay. Okay, that one doesn't really solve anything for me. Yeah, that doesn't help either. It's that one. The only one that I think might do something for me would be this thing. Because I could use the switch, get it to get this to be in the position to turn the piston, then the piston turns. Oh no, it won't work. No, none of this will work. Nope. Or at least not the way that I'm thinking about it. I may be missing something. Uh, but I can't think of a way to make that work. What if you move the entire second gantry shaft? Alongside the contraption. Huh? So you have Gantry 1, and then you have Gantry 2 with the cart. 
Well, that that'd be the same as me just putting a shaft alongside it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Which I think I will do because I think it is the neater solution for the moment. All right, the sheep just got shorn. Just need to display a block with carousel music. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Oh, you're all good, Iron Bod. All good. Uh, hmm. Oh, we've got a trader here if you want to convert him to a villager again. Nah. We're not ready for villagers yet. Okay. Um, I did chunk load that area, so no matter where we are, that tree farm will constantly load. Good, good. Also, talking about loading, um, who's going to close the server today? I can. Okay. I've got it set up so that I can now. That's why I started it up today. Oh, fancy. Yeah, I went to start it up as well when I saw you were still muted. So it was like, mm, yeah. Might be a good idea to check. Ah, it's all good. Make bigger windmill. Oh no! Ow. Sounds like somebody just fell. Somebody did just fall and gave themselves a foot concussion again. Ouch. Can't get the garage. No, no, no. I get these things to place where I want them. Now I have to wait for the lift to come down and then go up in the lift again. Oh, such a pain. I wonder who designed that lift. Rude. <laughs> you gotta admit it is pretty slow it is really slow but we tried to make it faster and it exploded I know of one thing that I might be able to help with then it's not like we didn't try and make it faster Oh, the moment you mistype and suddenly find Ratatouille oh, Ratatouille? Ratatouille yep ah. rat controlling an Orange haired man's life. <laughs> I like to imagine you were talking about Kappa. <laughs> uh, pity he doesn't have orange hair. Maybe for the next charity stream. <laughs> huh? get, him, huh? get him to bleach and dye his hair. He would do it for, um, well, I assume the kids. Um, he might do. He might. Just kind of tr struggling to imagine Kapak as a ginger nut. Yeah, um, the thing I wanted to make is a little bit out of our league right now. It's a little bit too far away, like we need to get the workshop up and running first. Well, well I guess I need to get it up and running first. Oh no, why? Why are you like this? You okay? Rotate direction counterclockwise. Clockwise. Yeah. Does that look better? Shadow, can you see the um the blades of the windmill I just put up and can you see which way looks better to have it spin? Uh the one you're right next to? Yeah. I think it's this way. I'm not sure. I mean if a way works for me. Okay. 
Sure. Sure, sure. How fast does this move? Oh, that's more like it. That's a good speed. That does not sound right. What does not sound it's right? It's not more speed. It needs to be more speed. Not enough speed. It, it, nah. Fine. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, in Space Engineers, a lift is, has enough speed when you hit your head on the roof as you go down. Something you can do with Create as well? I presume so. What am I doing? Just lost track of what I tried to do. Alright, so now I need to put a gear shaft along that. Oh, great. Uh, close enough. To be smart, but being dumb because of it. Sure, that makes sense. Basically trying to place a shaft and it automatically corrected it to align with the other shaft. Oh, uh, yep. And, yeah. Annoying Wrong sometimes. Direction. Yeah. A little bit. It's weird standing on this thing as it spins. Huh? Feels like I should be falling off. I'm standing on the gantry oh. as it's spinning like crazy. Ah. I mean, I can help you with that. If that's Please what don't. You want. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it is not easy to get back up here. Please don't help me. I would be oh so happy to. Yeah, real fancy footwork indeed. Uh... Hooray, it's all spinning. Oop. So, how does it work? Right now, it doesn't. Oh. That's a... Uh, dancing you... creeper in water? Yeah. It's doing quite the pirouette on your end. It's perfectly still on mine. Piston move? No. Why does the piston not move? What have I done wrong? How have I broken it? Well, stuff is always broken, so... That should be transmitting to the piston, why is it not? Piston's getting spinniness. <laughs> you know Is what that I meant. the technical term? Yeah, spinny. It's getting spinny, spinny. Um, getting spinny, spinny. <laughs> if I flick that around, oh boy, it's not not going outward. Is the orientation of stuff changing at all? Now, I think I, oh, because it's only changing the direction of that, because that's too, all right, I need to move where this is, I see the problem.
that goes there. And then we go there. And then we put casing on that. Put some redstone on there. We can then go dunk. That doesn't work. Uh, we put a casing on there. Yeah, now the piston works. Hooray! Oh, I need 15 hands. Uh. 15? <laughs> yep. Oh. Now, I might have made a mistake here. Oh. Uh, no. So. <laughs> That's not a good sign. At the moment, I've got the lever changing position of both the piss that changes the rotation of both the piston and the gantry. They need to be on separate controls. Because if they're on the same oh. control, I'll t chase the cart away from where I'm wanting it to be when I flick the switch. So I uh -huh. need it to. I need to have multiple switches here. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna redesign this whole thing. <sighs> Already giving up. No, no. Well, the way I've done it is wrong. Up. I'm resetting. Think about things. Oh, well, that's a not a good way. sign. Uh oh. Oh. That's also not a good sign. Now. Okay, since I'm doing that, I should get rid of the scaffolding over here so I can use it. Uh, yeah, the redstone receiver, as in the transmitter redstone things, I should probably use um, once I want to get this thing set up properly. In fact, I should probably... Um, maybe I should use it now. I don't know. I keep trying to, as I, as I was saying before, trying to make the simplest possible setup first and then fiddle with it and see if I can make it better. But without a simple setup, I just... Getting my head around what I need to do as the next stage becomes difficult. So I like to do it in a piecemeal fashion. Yep, that sounds uh, fine. Oh, jeez, I forgot about the nine cats again. Go, okay, Grand Final! Thank you so much for the raids. Welcome in, everyone. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh. Every, Every time. time. <laughs> Every time. You kind of did. But you also got a shadow that's been awake for a little while, so... Yeah. Okay, so the piston's in the right spot. I need to make... But how was the stream? I'm doing pretty good. Actually being productive oh. for once during these streams. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I slightly forced Granted. you to be, and I'm not feeling entirely oh. guilty about it. Uh, no, it's more like I've been in a productive mood today, so... Ah, so even Don't if I... About it. Even if... <laughs> even if I'd tried on the wrong day, it wouldn't have gotten me anywhere. Nope. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I see how it works. You do? Then could you please explain it to me? Because I don't understand myself. Another day. 
I'll try another day. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Put that there. Um, if you want the fun creations, you should head over to Spritzy. I hear he's working on something. Uh... I'm working on something. What that thing is yep. remains to be seen. And yeah, it is the War of the Hammer today. No, you ended the War of the Hammer. You took the hammer and went no, home. No, I did not. No, I didn't. It did. It's not where it was. It's still... Yeah, it's not where it was, but it is still full on display. It is? Yeah. You shouldn't have told me that, because now I'll go looking for it. I know. So now you waste time. And I can make you feel guilty about not continuing your project. <laughs> this is a win-win situation for me. It's a something situation for oh. sure. Yeah. I guess I should get started on building those hands. I should probably do this with a belt. Have I got a belt on me? I do not. Oh, the belt needed six, didn't it? <laughs> I think my character might be a kangaroo. Um, I am jumping all over the place. I was about to say, did you find some small marsupial in a pouch somewhere? In your back, in your <laughs> backpack. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I thought we had more brass than this. We might. Oh, don't tell me you... Do anything. I don't know what you're talking about. No, why you as well? Oh, you people! <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing like that. You know what happens. I know what I can do when I come on the server when you're not online. <laughs> It'll take you hours to fix. Put hammers everywhere! All of them slightly differently oriented to the others. Oh, have you put the hammer? Is it in my house or something? Ow! Oh! <laughs> How did I make you on fire? <laughs> that was a very spicy potato, apparently. Oh, it was a baked potato! Oh, oh. Can you make me a spud gun so that we can, you know, kill bad guys a bit more easily? Like, by using baked potatoes? Uh, no. Because I'm probably going to be the number one target. And it is not very easy to make. Considering I have not hit you back, do you really think you're a target? Mm, yes, I do. I think you're projecting. I think I'm having flashbacks to um, space engineers. No, those were accidents. They don't count. All those... Bullets in the back of my head for accidents. I see how it is. Yeah. And yes, I do still hold a grudge. Apparently so. Yeah. Many clones were lost. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting what I'm trying to do because of you. Oh, it's my fault, is it? Yeah, it is. It always is. Yeah. So I don't think I'm going to make this more efficient by doing this. Actually, speaking of distractions, where's Kapak? 
Uh, so Capac today was talking about potentially playing a game called, uh, what's it called? Something Realm. Stolen Realm. Uh, with Wasted. Oh. I, I had a bit of a look at the game. I'm not sure I'm sold that it's a game for me. Um, it's, I'm very, after playing and getting addicted to Eve, uh, I'm very sensitive to games that make me feel like I'm doing something just on a treadmill to collect stuff. Mm. Uh, and yeah, it's, very... it's a bit one of those games. Yeah. Which if you really enjoy the gameplay is fine, but I'm like... I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not sold that it's the right game for me. Oh, also, I have to do that up thing. Again. Do we get that, Crones? Yeah. That, that good enough? <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit too aggressive. <laughs> uh. Actually spooked me. <laughs> I think I'm just going to turn this back to what I had. Not use belts. This works well enough. Uh oh. My desk is deflating. So on the topic of the what? desk thing, um, I was contemplating over the weekend setting up uh, for... Come on, brain, start working. That is the thing to set up for, yes. Setting up for my... Setting up the camera for my PC and streaming again, like I had for the Ooh. charity stream. But I'm not sure how people feel about it. I'm not sure whether people want I mean, it or not. If you want my opinion, um, I don't need any more nightmares from the Elmo head. <laughs> That's assuming I was going to use the Elmo head. Yeah. I mean, I probably would. When you say fl oh, flashback, when you say uh, webcam, I uh, I get flashbacks. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Well, and I also think of the Lego streams, which, speaking of. Hmm. You're a monster. <laughs> yes, I am. Tease me, I tease you. All right, I'm going to have to do the thing. I have to do a transmitter here. Redstone link. Oh, we will make this a <laughs> conveyor link. Why not? I might have made a mistake. What did uh, you do? <laughs> we have a lot of brass now. Oh dear. <laughs> we have... Well, I Too guess enter the brass age. Yeah. Is yeah. That... Mm, fair enough. It'll uh... be fine. Okay. Well, another redstone transmitter. Don't think I have the stuff. First of all, I need a bunch more alloys. A bunch yeah, more so alloys have been achieved. I, I was genuinely opening for, like, expecting people's opinions on the whole face cam or not thing. I still probably wouldn't use it for space engineers or anything like that. But with the hope to do some more stationeers soon, I figured I could just overlay it where the character's one is. Or um, added it in. What's that? Or edit it in. That seems like a post-edit thing. Um, yeah, or overlay where the Kerbals are for Kerbal Space Program. That was the other thing. And set up a little overlay that looks like the KSP thing. Because I've actually got one of them. Um, with my name on it. That I made ages ago. I have no idea if it still lines up right or not. But yeah, that was sort of... For, particularly for KSP streams, I thought it'd be potentially it might be nice because they're a bit more visually slower. So I'm interacting with chat more so I can actually look at chat, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, I, I, if you want my honest opinion, I think it's a really good idea. Cool. For those chill streams, at least. Yeah, yeah. For stuff like, for multiplayer stuff, I'm not as convinced it's helpful 
But for single player streams, I think it can be more so. I mean, it would be fun to see how you uh, react whenever I tease you and hit you and annoy you. I feel like that's just going to get me hit more. Yeah, exactly. It'll be more fun for me and for chat. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Mm, good news and bad news. What do you want first? Uh, first one, then t'other. What are we out of? Redstone. Really? Good news. I had just enough redstone to make the row squads that I needed to make the deployers. Uh-huh. I mean, I do have redstone on me, but I am using it, so it was legit for me to have it on. Yeah, yeah. It'll be great once the baby is born, we can do our own time lapse of the lack of sleep on his face. <laughs> yep. Yep, could be that. I put that there. And then I put. Leave it there. Uh huh, it does work. Okay, piston works. Uh, so for those, no, I won't fall asleep on stream. I'll just, if I get sleepy enough and I'm streaming and I want to keep going, what I will almost certainly do is stand up. Uh, then I'm much less likely to fall asleep. And if I'm getting so tired that I'm then falling asleep, I would probably just be like, yeah, that's it for today. That's fair. Right, let's get the next switch set up, which is frog there. Gearbox, do I want a gearbox? Maybe gear, no, yeah, maybe a gearbox actually. Can I just hear an angry dog? Uh... Angry dog? Oh! Uh... <laughs> Did you do something to yeah. our dog? No, but there were a bunch of skeletons nearby the dog. Oh. Uh, shall I try and sleep? Yes, please. I've never seen a person fall asleep standing up. This'll be neat. Thanks, Jax. <laughs> it's his way of getting I back mean, at me for not having wrong? done the Lego streams as much as I was planning on doing. Yeah. How dare you. I know. So I need to have a way to tra to change the direction of this one as well. Oh. No, I don't. Yes, I do. What do we do for that trans uh, gear shift? Inside, cogwheel, redstone. Uh, I don't think we need breath of trains, actually. Uh, it didn't seem like it. I mean, we need some brass casings for the train casing, but that's, like, a very tiny amount of brass that we need for it. Since I'm not doing trains up here, because I think I've figured out how to make this gantry work, uh, it's a little bit different. 
This is gonna take so many stress units. And to... Oh no, I've run out of cogs. Oh, there we go. Nope, that's not how I do that. Oh boy, okay, all the deployers have been placed. Now I need to line up the belt so they all go the right direction. One, what? Do this. I've done something very silly. Oh? You've piqued my interest? What's going on? Uh, I was trying to place two cubes in the same space. I was doing. Uh, forgetting that I couldn't do that. Uh, so we got to do a vertical. That's an interesting thing to forget. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of surprised at myself, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, that doesn't work. That does. Oh. That <laughs> oh, does not sound So many good. steps. So many steps. Oh, this is not going to be pretty. Yeah, it's plus he's making TFE noises now. No! <laughs> no, I must not. <laughs> I must not do that. That's totally not mean to say at all. What? Confused TFE noises? You don't want to be like him at all? No, I don't want to be making confused TFE noises at all. Ah. I would say. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what are you, oh my god? This is going to be um, cogwheel galore. Oh yeah. I think, I think everything we do is going to be cogwheel galore. Uh... No, that is not the right spot. That one is going that the right is... way, which means no. it's not going the right way here. Oh? Place you where I want you to place. Ooh. There we go. Holy moly. Oh, oh. <laughs> I just geared right that down. I wasn't meaning to do that. Uh, oh, can you... right, that's what I did. Can you do the 90 degree turns with a, um, yeah, that is super fast. I need to not do that. With a small onto a large, or does it have to be a large to a large? I think it has to be a large to a large. It means I need another large one. So I can gear it back down. Not be able to walk around there. That's more like it. So it feels like it's slower now. Shouldn't that be the same? This one here, this one here, and then this one here. Um, I'm so confused. So, Shadow, I've got a large cog going to a large cog, mm -hmm. which is on the same shaft as a small one, 
So that's spinning the small one slower, which then spins onto a large one, which is, yeah, I need to go. I've done two step downs instead of one. Sorry, I just rubber duckied you and it actually helped me. Power of rubber ducky. Happy to be of assistance. There we go. Now they're the same speed, I think. Fun story, yeah. actually. Like, one of my classmates is now nicknamed Rubber Ducky just because he has that power. He's just one of those people that <laughs> you never get through actually talking to him before you realize what you've done wrong. Like, when you start explaining the problem, he just looks at you and suddenly you know the fix, and then it's like, oh my gosh, how did I not figure this out before? <laughs> hey, fail. Yeah, a vertical gearbox might work. You're right. You're right. Um. Uh, Shadow, can you see my stream? Yes. Can you see that redstone link? Should it work onto that gear shift, or will I need to place it on a different block? Uh, it might work. Like, it might affect the shaft. Like, the gantry. But oh, as in power. It should work. Yeah. Yeah, that shouldn't be too much of a problem, I think, with the way I've set it up. Maybe. I may have to fall and die. Yep. Yep, there's that. Ow. Thanks, guys. Uh, then I'll My go... brain was not cooperating. Not here. Uh, no, not that there. Wait, they're all functional? Wait. Oh, okay. I can stop mass producing my items. Good. Good. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, it does work. And go that. Then we go. Where is it? Receiver. So that's I spinning anti clockwise. It's now spinning clockwise. Cool. Okay, it's working. Unfortunately, it is electrifying the gantry which means it doesn't transmit the force so I do have to fix that poop does not work that way okay so it's one two three and the third one that the nuggets. and now we're both one, just two. muttering to ourselves because we're both doing complicated things yes There, I can do it. Okay, now I need a bunch of wood. Uh, oh, do you, you need anything? Um, also, I'm out to get stuff anyway. I don't think so. Yeah. Need a way to figure out how I'm going to get up to where I'm trying to get to, but that's about it. And help with that. Should fix my problem. <laughs> I love the chat right now. You have made the advancement, bonk. You have reached the goal, workout session, and you have made the advancement, the brass age. Work, work. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I did things. Yay. <laughs> you sure did? S Yes. Whoa! <laughs> Indeed, Dragon. Uh... So many deaths if uh, could. If they could. Whoa! Okay, that's. Yeah, I think your tree farm might be OP. I mean. Uh, yeah. I'm happy. Guess we don't have to mine coal because we can just use charcoal for everything. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you just reminded me. I had one goal this stream what was that, that I started with. Making a quarry. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> you were so right. I was never going to be able to get to that. Nope. Never. All right. <sighs> Do you want to come on well, the first trip of the turning gantry? Oh, boy. Yep. I'll be testing dummy. This room. No. <laughs> I don't think there's a McDonald's nearby here, uh, that the guy. I'm sorry. Oh, this is- this pack is awesome for the engineering. Okay. And most of it is just one mod. That's the best part. Yeah. You did, you did pick well, Shadow. You did ve pick very well for things that I would lose time to. I'm glad I stopped I'm losing to time to the chiseling, though. <laughs> that was I a mean, bit that's much. something we can do when we need to do some interior decorating. Yeah. Like when we need a curtain or something, because I'm pretty sure there aren't any curtains. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Like, also, it's just like, custom-shaped glass for windows. Ooh, yeah. Instead of using a... Uh, Pain, which looks a bit funny in some situations. You can make a thicker piece. Mm -hmm. Or something that actually aligns to stairs, for example. Hmm. Well, I'm waiting for you at the lift. Unless I am already, already up. up. Oh, that'll be why the lift was up. <laughs> it explains everything. I chiseled the hammer in the correct orientation. Yeah, it's a certain dominance. Just chisel a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> that way, there's only one way to make it look right. I am in a very precarious situation. Uh... Are you going to stay up there, huh? Yep. Well, do you want to flick oh, the switch there then? We go. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. You're standing on top of the block I with the switch. Stuck. Oh. So, there's a switch over here, but I, we might not be able to reach it, so I might have to move it. I was about to say, challenge accepted. Oh. Poop. How do I get redstone to this thing? It's fine, just place a lever like uh, underneath. You should be able to reach that. But we I couldn't see the underneath just before when I was having a look. Get in the car. I'll show you. Shadow magic! Yeah. Oh poop. And Why now do we what? stop here? Yeah. We weren't meant to stop here! No! Oh no! <laughs> oh, it's because of this cogwheel here. Ow. Ow! That was water all around. No, I didn't jump also, out, help. I fell out. Help. How do I, um... Uh, you help. can wait there, I'll come return you. I was afraid this might have happened, or this would happen. I was afraid. You were afraid that I didn't have a system that actually worked? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I mean, it's like coding. There are bound to be bugs. Yeah. But to be fair, I knew what I was getting into. Also, hey Brad, hey Ogazilla. Um, uh, the mod thing... Yumu is uh, listed as a command in the title. Someone is too lazy to type it into chat for them, apparently. Busy. That's why I've got the command. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I've done something stupid, and now I've got to fix it. Great. 
How do I fix this? So that one's in the wrong spot. It's a box. Unless... Uh oh Ah. Sounds I like you just got an idea. I did. And I that did. scares me. It's a good one. Let's change oh. the cart rather than changing the contraption for the moment. Ow! Stupid campfire. <laughs> Job. Thank you. Trying to achieve. <laughs> yeah, that is something I could do, Neka. Oh dear. What what things could you make the buttons do that I wouldn't I mean you'd have to hide it pretty well, I guess, but that's not that hard. Oh I have my ways. I have my trolls. Sure you do. Not my first rodeo. It's after the iron nuggets, yes. Oh, I need so much more everything. Mistake, didn't I? I might... Yeah, I think it's going to be easier for me to drop this whole floor one block than it is to fix my whole contraption up. You're going to drop a whole floor? Yeah, it's a block higher than it should be because I kind of imagined the crane... the gantry thing having been built differently to what it actually is. Ah. Oh. Still don't get far enough. Why am I getting stopped now? The game knows. Oh, it's the tree. Powerful. <laughs> <laughs> it is weird seeing a cart there. Um, Shadow, <laughs> can I get you to do me a favor? If you're anywhere around, or are you way away? Uh, would you Hang mind? On, I have a fun way of getting up. One moment. Yeah, would you mind climbing up there and flicking the switch to bring me back? Whee! Ow. Stopping me now. And flick it again. Please. <laughs> Aha! Alright, so then we do this. Oh, I broke that. Broke things. Oh, I am not a cat. I do break my ankles when I fall too high. Oh, I think I broke the piston. <laughs> well done. I did break the piston. <gasps> oh, Ooh, I have an idea. I can do here. Ah, oh, dear. <laughs> what? Oh, it is stripped. Okay, never mind. I, uh... Wait, the hammer counts as an axe? What? Uh, what? The more you know. Or maybe as a pickaxe. I don't know. It certainly counts as a something. Oh no, that's not right. Come on, brain. Get it together. Uh, do you still have that bell, by the way? Uh, yes, I do. You really need to clean up your inventory. 
Yes, I do. Um, <laughs> do you have one piece of redstone to spare as well? Yep. I'll be with you in a moment then to collect those materials. Oh, I need to redo my super glue. That's what I need to do. Oh, that's always a fun one. Because otherwise I'm going to grab part of the tree when I arrive. <laughs> like I did with the saplings. Yeah, how do you clear... Oh, that's how. Yeah, I just bunch it. What? Ah! How do I... Control. Okay. We, I can't seem to get rid of this bigger one that walls oh. around the whole car. Uh, you need to punch it from the outside. Oh. See. <laughs> no, Dragnon. Minecraft Clang. It just reminds me. Oh, well, reminds me. It makes me think like. This mod is more stable than subgrids in Space Engineers. Yeah, because it's not doing what subgrids in Space Engineers do. Yeah, okay, fair, but still. It's not doing physics. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Oh, oh wait. Oh, that's a trippy torch. All right, why am I stuck now? What about now? Nope. Love a trippy torch. Um. Oh. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all so complicated. Do you need a hug? You sound like you need a hug. I need a brain transplant. That's what I think I need. So if two bits of glue overlap each other, does that glue the whole thing together? It does, doesn't it? I think Spritzy just broke himself, to be honest. Yeah, I decided to do something more complicated than I probably should have. Okay. I mean, that sounds like yes. you. No! <laughs> I'm turning. It's quite the sad story. Why are we not moving? I don't understand why I'm not moving. Ooh. I'm attached to the new gantry. Is it spinning the right way? Because I, it doesn't seem to be. I have rotated it both ways, and it. I'm now moving. Is it now receiving a redstone signal? Uh. Maybe. Yes, it is. Dang it! How do I stop it doing that with those two things next to each other? I don't think I can. Put it on slab. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, man, now I gotta climb up there. And yes, Tooth, this is a very late night stream. Well, for me it is, at least. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of middle of the day for me. Yeah, blame Spitzy. I mean, yeah and no? Oh? You you said you were okay with the time, and I did offer other times. <laughs> but we couldn't yeah, find true. a better time to make it work. Yeah. So it's kind of a combination a of, yeah, our timings don't work very well being on opposite yeah. sides of the planet. And it's a good thing I am a night owl as well. Yeah, there or is that. Bulb. 
basically an every time of day owl, to be honest. <laughs> You're just awake a lot. Yeah. Give me time I need to be awake and I'll be awake. You seem better at enjoying the being awake than I do. Like I, I've obviously been similar having work night shifts and it's like, yep, I gotta be awake now, I will be awake. But I mean, for you it was work, for me it was play games with people. Yeah, that is true. Um, yeah. Shadow, it's still not working. Yeah, you broke it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, is it because the piston's still stuck to it? One moment. You made a mess. Yeah. What the? I... Okay, I just fell through. Yeah. Hey. I... I've been dropping things. Stand on my gantry door. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, do you have a piece of redstone? Yeah. I needed to give you one anyway, I'll didn't I? Throw it there. Yeah. Uh, if you give me two, I can hopefully make this work. I that you need to learn how to count. You need to remember that I am always deliberately giving you more. Ow. I know. Oh, wait, no, no, that's the wrong one. I was doing it. There you part. go. That's uh, yeah. what you meant so to what do, did right? I, what did I do wrong? Uh, the slab makes it so it doesn't transfer redstone power around it, but you can place something on it. So all I did was place another piece of redstone. Oh, and then moved the thing back. So, um, now what? Oh, right, you needed that, so... I, yep, I see, I see, I see. Now, we do this. It looks so sad. I mean, we still can't make the other one bring us back. Because <laughs> I don't have a switch to um, attach to that switch over there, so we're kind of stuck here. But at least I've got the transfer working. <laughs> Hooray! Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, that's... Do you have a crafting table upgrade on your backpack? No. Oh, but you do have the bell. Thank you. So, yeah, I, I'm, pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with where this is getting. I think it's overly unnecessarily complex, but I also think it works. And it's achieving um, the thing I was wanting to. And now that I understand how it works, I can try and optimize it and put the switches where they need to be so we can actually make it do things. A uh, quick question. Hmm? Uh, how are you turning the lever over there? It's just the lever? Yeah, it's just the lever. Mm, We're it. stuck here now. Uh, what frequency is it to turn this one? This shaft? Uh, it's double conveyor. Double conveyor, you say? I can uh, do something about that. <laughs> okay. Magic. Is it user friendly? Ma magic. No. Is it capac proof? Magic. That doesn't exist. Ah! Am I in your way at times? Is that what you're screaming about? No. No? Are you sure it's double conveyor? Yeah, double conveyor belt. Do you have it set to receive? Well, it was working, wasn't it? Oh, because it's a... Oh, uh, but you don't have it as a switch. No. Not yet. No, don't... <laughs> Well, I think it might be a time for me to wrap things up here, and especially as you were saying how late it is for you. Oh, no, that's fine. Uh, do you mind if I quickly finish the thing I was working on? What were you working on when... What have you been up to in here? Well, take a look. That's a lot of things. 
What are you making with these things? Precision mechanisms. Precision mechanisms. Yes. So let me just quickly get a bit more wood. Um. What's the block you've placed with the mechanical belt to make it have, have it so we can't see the bottom? Is that more casings? Yep. I just try to stick some casing on them. Oh. Neat. Very neat. Yes. <laughs> Dragnod, thank you very much for the gift subs. That you managed to hit TFE with. <laughs> thank you very much, man. Oh, you should have... You, you should have done eight. It would have taken you to 3,333. <laughs> Miss opportunity. Yep. I'm sure he'll remember to do it at some point where it next lines up to an amusing number. Thank you very much, Dragnon. <laughs> Your generosity goes a very long... <laughs> no, I didn't mean to do another... Uh, thank you for another eight, you madman. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> well, <laughs> on that ridiculous note, uh, Shadow, are you going to keep doing some art or are you going call it, to call it a night? Uh, I might do some art, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap up here. I'm going to go and do some editing. And other things that I need to do. Uh, You're actually going to work? Wow! That's what I do. I mean, sometimes I also play too long on, like, the Valheim server and things like that. But <laughs> most of the time I do work. Okay, um, I'm about to turn this thing on, by the way. You oh, want okay. To see. All right. I'll hang around for that. Where does it start? Oh, there. Right here. Nope. So, the annoying thing is, it's a very long sequence, but it also has a chance to fail. Oh, no. Why would you do so, this? Um, well, that's why I'm automating it, so we can do it in mass, uh, so we can get a lot of them. I was in the sequence has a chance to fail even if you do it right. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Huh? Incomplete precision mechanisms. No! That are all I deteriorating? No, that shows how complete it is. Right oh, now. they need to go I through it. Could we just send them through again? We can. So they need a normal cogwheel. So they need to have one more sequence. Fine. I am liking our workshop now. Though it's going to need to have a not grass floor eventually. Oh, yeah. I plan on making it andesite casing, actually. Really? So it fits with the conveyor belts. Yeah, it's a nice and dark color. Goes well with okay. the brick. Ah, one of them failed. Two of them failed. Really? You got three complete ones, yeah. though. Is that something, I suppose? Okay. Well, next week, I guess you'll show me what you were planning on doing with the precision mechanisms. Oh, yeah. And I might... I have some ideas. I might try and take some time during the week to finesse my mechanism for the gantry so that the gantry can actually be functional and I can do some design work around it. Uh, I'm not going to make it pretty. I'm just going to make the mechanism work better. But yeah. Thanks for coming, everybody. Um, I'm going to go raid Black Shadow because she's going to continue with some art. So go enjoy that. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with some more Kerbal Space Program bright and early in the morning. This is all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. Uh, let's do the raid first. Yeah. Uh, I should probably...